Hi chat. Hello, hello. How's it going everybody? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, in, in. <clears throat> My voice is losing momentum. My voice is uh, losing some momentum. I guess that's how we'll say it. I don't know. It's losing, um, I don't know. It's losing, it's, it's like scratchy, okay? My voice is like scratchy. And I need to change my lighting, I'm sorry. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. Go red. I'm feeling red today. Feeling the darkness with this anniversary event being so freaking difficult. <laughs> I'm not bitter. You're bitter. Silent, you're late. I'm sorry. I'm I'm always late. At this point, it's like I almost like I <sighs> like I'd almost say at this point y'all should just show up like 15 minutes before the scheduled time or i'm sorry after the scheduled time because i feel like i'm not even ready until 15 minutes after the scheduled time sissa's here already and get heck yeah yeah i'm excited Ugh, i need to change my lighting i'm sorry hold on all right pose for insta okay that blue looks really nice on you thank you i'm wearing a dress i don't know why I decided to wear a dress today. My granny, I literally showed up. Sorry, I'm changing my lighting. I literally showed up into my granny's room. And I <laughs> I walked in in a dress. She was like, are you going somewhere? And I was like, no, I'm going to stream. And she was like, well, you're wearing a dress. Unless that's a robe. And I was like, no, it's a dress. And she was like, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, bro, I just feel like, I don't know. I just, I woke up and I, I, okay, I have laundry to do, which I actually need to start, which I did not do. So I might have to go run and do that real quick chat because I don't really have, I guess I could do it tomorrow, but I don't really have like a wardrobe now. <laughs> Oh man, oh yeah, how you doing? Hello. Sanaji. Oh, oh, Granny's so sweet. She's so she's so hilarious when she doesn't even mean to be. <laughs> like, I'm just like, that's so funny. Look at that, ma'am. Um, alright. Um, I'm posting on Insta right now. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm being rude. We live on Twitch. And YouTube. Oop, there we go. It's supposed to posted. I still gotta post on Discord. Gadget, thank you for contributing to the community challenge. Thank you. Um, Saber, hello, hello. Oh yeah, and what server do you play, by the way? I play on Crick Hollow. Um, Silent, I know your dad plays Lotro, does Granny? No. So, um, my mom's side of my family, so my granny, um, who I live with, she does not. My granny and my mom are very much not gamers, and I don't think that they really understand, like, my want to game, I guess. Um, I don't want to say, like, they're not supportive of streaming, but, like, they just, I don't think they realize, um, I just don't think they realize, like, how much it means to me <laughs> so and, and they just don't get it so and like they ask questions like they're 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 just they just don't understand um but they don't really like people who game like they're very much like anti like gaming i guess <laughs> like they just which is hilarious because my mom is like a mobile gamer and stuff but muriel okay my cat disappeared um but yeah, but on my dad's side, it's like total opposite. My grandma freaking, she's jamming out on Minecraft. Um, my dad freaking games more than me. He probably games like 16 hours a day tops. So, um, yeah. 
just funny how it works. I just started and tips helped a lot. Wait, really, Aaliyah? I'm glad. I'm glad that the tips helped. I do have another video coming out that's more of like a tutorial for like how to get your first mount in the game. So if you do not already have your mount, Aaliyah, I do, I do have that about to drop. I cannot get the right lighting today to save my life. Wow. I guess we just go pink. When in doubt, go pink, right? It's a good in the middle. It's just hard because it's so bright out right now. Maybe we go orange. That doesn't even look like orange. Does that color look like orange too? That looks like red to me. Um, you play on Evernight, Oya? Oh, yeah. I don't have any alts on Evernight. That's like the one big server that I have absolutely no one on. Um, gadget. I like it when the streamer is live. It beats being the other way. I mean, yeah. You're feeling inferior right now. Wait, why, Saver? Geo, how's it going with those booty shakes? I see you. Um, Silent, my dad is a gamer but doesn't get streaming. My dad's kind of the same way. I don't think my dad doesn't get streaming, but he doesn't like streaming because he's so, like, I don't know. I don't want to, like, talk bad about my dad, but, like, my dad is, like, he doesn't he doesn't touch grass that much okay he doesn't he he a lot of the stuff that he does is always at home he's watching news at home like all the time while he games he's just a conspiracy theorist i i he doesn't like being called a conspiracy theory but like he is like by the book like a like major conspiracy theorist when it comes to everything so like me streaming he's like oh my gosh like you can't like you're putting your face out there it's a privacy thing da, 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 you know but like then it just spirals even to even bigger stuff that i'm just like okay <laughs> like i just it's just so uh cringe to me <laughs> but uh but i love my dad you know like he gets the gaming thing but he doesn't i i think the streaming thing creeps him out um, but like he's not like talking crap about me while I do it so I appreciate it like he doesn't do like s jabs or whatever he's just like I don't know he's just like like if I were to ask him his opinion on me streaming he would then go into like all these things but other than that like if he sees me streaming and stuff he's like oh go for you like look at you go you know but it's just not a him thing so yeah he's kind of nice but the rest of my family they're just like you need to go outside, Aubrey. You need to go out and like do things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like these little jabs. Um, oh yeah, you said, oh, I didn't, um, uh, I don't, but I saw some co coordinations from Lord of the Rings. Now I'm focused on doing quests. Okay, cool. I will get you, I will get you that video away because there is a mount that you can have right now. And I feel like having a mount in this game is essential. Drawing up, hello, how you doing? Geo, you haven't slept yet. Oh my God. It's okay. I literally just woke up and like hit go live. Like I'm, I'm, I got my breakfast here still. Like I haven't even eaten. Silent. I tried to get my dad into Lotro, but MMO seemed to hurt his eyes. So he sticks with Fallout, Skyrim, and Baldur's Gate 3. It sounds like my dad. I want to get my dad back into Lotro, but he will not get back into Lotro. But he's too busy playing like, um, Starfield right now. Starfield's his thing. It's Starfield and Star Wars Battlefront 2. So funny because most of the games that I've gotten into in life, my dad's gotten into. Or, or like my dad's played and then I get into. Um Aubrey, you look like a lore master. Thank you. I can kinda see it though. Hey, like hey, 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 you know, hey, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Gosh, my hair is such a mess today, guys. Help! I need a hairstylist. <laughs> guys, I need to dye my hair. Like, look at how multicolored my hair is, bro. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys can see all my dander. Oh my dander. If Sorry, my dandruff. I'm not a dog or cat. Um, you don't use mouths, Gio? <sighs> Guys, you're gonna make me want to end stream right now and go finish this video. I've been sitting on this video like, oh yeah, it's probably not gonna do that great because most people know how to get a mount. But like, y'all need some mounts. Saber, you failed two drawings. And they look like crap. And just seeing other people's drawings in Discord and looking at mine, yeah, I should just give up at this point. Saber? You stop that behavior right now. Do not compare yourself to other people. You're always going to lose when you do that. So don't look at other people's discords. Don't look at other people's drawings. 
get your drawing done and you know i don't know what like the drawings for i don't know if it's sort of like an assignment or something or you know but um take your time on it if you know if if you if you don't even like it at this point you can start the frick over nothing saying you have to keep going on it if you don't like it then move on you don't need to complete everything so um don't compare yourself to others though because you gotta you you really got to understand too that some of the people that have these drawings and stuff or just when it comes to anything they've just put so much time into something probably more than anyone could measure so while you think you might just be able to like just get it or like maybe you just are comparing the drawing itself and you're just like oh well why didn't i think about that or blah 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 they just have more time probably to I guess like cultivate a skill or something and you can't compare yourself to someone i don't care if they've had like 10 hours i don't care if they've had like 70 hours you can't compare yourself when you've only had so many hours or whatever like you know so don't do that silent i'm one too biblical conspiracy theorist that's all i'm gonna say on there okay silent you and my dad would love each other <laughs> you guys are uh, meant to be <laughs> because my dad is a conspiracy theorist of multiple types, but biblical is a big, big one. Maybe. I guess. Well, I I don't know. It depends. Um, but yeah. Awea, oh, yeah, I'm really struggling with traveling a lot. Yeah. Awea, oh, uh, it's okay. I will get you your mount. I will get you that mount. I will get this. I wanted to get the video out on Sunday. It might get pushed to Monday is what it's looking like. So, Gio, uh, I've been up for 33 hours. Go to sleep. That is so unhealthy. Geo. Here, Geo, I'm freaking throwing my mug at you. I'm, I'm going to make you go to sleep one way or another. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. Go get some sleep, Geo. Turn off the stream. There are always VODs. You are not missing anything. Well, I guess you are missing some stuff, but there's VODs to rewatch it, so it's not like it's not there. Got a front two A. Silently said I tried to uh, um I tried to like Starfield gave up after five hours. I haven't even played it. A uh, Starfield's of no interest to me, and my dad's really trying to get me into it. And I'm like, no. Um oh well, yeah, you should go with black. I'm thinking about it because my hair is like unless you mean black like something like a black dress or something, I don't know. But black hair my um my hair is like four different colors but if i were to dye black it wouldn't actually be that bad because my hair my natural hair color is pretty much like the dark brown so black would kind of like neutralize it i guess because right now i have like the top top okay it doesn't appear well on street but like the top top is like orange blonde like it's so weird i wonder if i can show you God, look at how much dandruff I have. I didn't realize how much dandruff I have. My God. My skull is just drying out. But like, it's like, it's like blah, blah. Okay. And then it's like, it's like. Down here is kind of blonde. And then it's like dark brown. Like it, it I, I, I'm multicolored, you know, with my hair. It, it, like if you were to visit me in port, like when Gantron visits me in person, he's going to see how bad it is. He, he's going to, he's going to take a picture. He's going to be like, girl. You can get it together. I'm just glad it doesn't appear that bad on stream. <laughs> Lighting really makes a thing or two, you know? No, no, no hair dye, says Drana. I just need to, like, I need to dye my hair to, like, one solid state color and make it neutral. Like, like have, like, a blank canvas again and just leave it for, like, two years before ever redying it. <laughs> you have 70 plus days on Battlefront 2. Wait, Geo, really? Yo, Geo, I have like, I think I have like less than a thousand hours on Battlefront 2. I, um, I play a lot of Battlefront 2. Well, I used to. Now I don't at all anymore. Litro, Litro has my heart. Um, I used to compare myself to other savers. Still do it sometimes, but most of the time I don't give a freak. Yeah, don't do it. I just can't get hand and neck proportions right. I can never get it right. 
Oh my gosh, Saber, Saber, you sound like my dad. My dad has, my dad's been an artist like his whole life, but he, he's not a successful one in the fact of like, he doesn't have like, like it's not his living. And so that's why I'm like saying like, he's not a successful one. Like just because he's never been able to do that. Um, but it's because he's so hung up on proportions and stuff. And he's like, yeah, if I were in art school still, like, this is not, this would not be okay. Like, it's so bad. And I'm just like, here's the thing is like, yeah, if you're an artist and there's another artist looking, they're going to realize, but it really depends on who you're showing your stuff to. Like he shows me his stuff and I'm like, holy crap, this is freaking incredible. But I wouldn't even know half the freaking stuff that went wrong. Like, I'm not looking for it because I don't know it, you know? So sometimes, Saber, to kind of help you out, I think that maybe you should just show it to somebody who knows nothing about art and just be like, here you go. What do you think of this? If you really care, honestly, like, I'm not saying to really care about what people say, but if you wanted to, like, at least give yourself a little bit more grace then it kind of does depend on who you're showing your work to. Like my dad's like, oh yeah, this proportion. I'm like, bro, I have no idea. Like this looks incredible. It doesn't look funky to me. It looks great. And you're over here complaining about like a neck or something. And I'm just like, this is literally a great piece of work. But because he's so focused on the neck, he won't, he won't post it out or anything. He's like, no, it's terrible. It's not going to work. I'm like, dude, you're, <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that, Saver. Don't do that. There are so many. I'm going to tell you, okay, it's not the same. Do you know how many freaking videos I have posted on YouTube that I have just watched after I'm done with them and just say these are absolute dog water and I would never post them, but I post them anyway. I do. I, I, I like some people say not to do that, but I do it because you just never know. There are things that I've edited out there that, and things that I've said in these videos where I'm like, this is just so fudging boring why does anyone watch this stuff and then people will watch it and then they're like oh it was actually helpful and i'm like i can't i can't make it up you know like it's you just never know what people gravitate towards i guess um mm -hmm. drawings are yours and only um and only you can draw the way you do you'll get there one day and it'll be yours and that is what matters not how good or bad it is exactly what sissa said um silent you say yeah i'd love to meet him fingers crossed um silent also says geo sleep please any longer you'll start going and say yeah dude i'm freaking exhausted from streaming as much as i have and not getting as much sleep we'll say but like geo you like you gotta go yeah go to sleep no, I've not tried DD2 or whatever it's called. Dragon Dogma. No, I haven't tried it. Um, I haven't even heard of it. Oh, wait, yeah, I remember back in the day when I haven't slept um, from like December 30th to January 2nd and it was painful. I don't know why I did that. Man, there was one day. I still remember this. I was on, gosh, I, it was summer break. And I I woke up. And I started playing Lotro with my dad and my grandma. I think I was like 13 or 14. Something like that. Maybe 12. I don't remember. But I remember I started playing. It's probably like in the afternoon. I took a break to eat dinner because my family was like, you have to eat dinner with us. That's so always just kind of been a thing. Um, and I think I skipped lunch. And then I literally gamed for hours. And then I remember my mom came to my room and she was like what are you doing up and i was like what do you mean like it's like you know maybe 11 at night she was like aubrey it's 6 45 in the morning the sun is rising you never went to sleep you <laughs> and i was like what and then i went outside and i was like oh god like <laughs> it's and then I slept like two days straight. <laughs> I was like, my family had to keep waking me up because they were like, are you alive? Like, they were genuinely concerned. <laughs> and I will never forget that. I was like, oh God. So um, yeah, just make sure you're okay. Gio's going to sleep for like years now. <laughs> 
say where everything I draw looks really blocky and big and disproportionate. It's borderlines laughable. Here. Here, Geo. Or I'm I'm sorry, here Saber. I said Geo and Saber because you guys have the same color. Um basically like the same color username for me, so I keep seeing you both. And I'm like, hey. Um let me see if I can find this because <laughs> I have a picture I can show you. Um, and it it's me drawing. Well, kind of. I, I was I took a graphic design class. And in the class, um, we had to we were testing out um oh, which program was it? It was an Adobe program. It wasn't Photoshop. And it wasn't in design, it was the other one. I want to say After Effects, but it's not After Effects. Oh my god, what's it called? Help me. Help me, chat. What's another drawing program on, on Adobe? It's an orange program. An orange-looking program. And I can't remember. I can't remember it to save my life, what it's called. Um, let's see, I wonder if I have it here. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> Gosh, what's it called? Um, Adobe. Illustrator. We were trying. Yeah, Illustrator. Thank you. Thank you, Noah and Geo. Um, I, so we were trying out, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to show you guys this, this is, <laughs> Saber, listen up here, okay? So we were trying Adobe Illustrator, and I never tried Adobe Illustrator, always been terrified of it. Super pumped for it though, um, to learn about it, because I want to learn all the Adobe programs, um, which is something, like, I kind of know, like, I know, like, some of the editing ones, like, I've definitely used Premiere a lot. Um, and I think I've used After Effects a few times. Uh, hey, Snorgar, how's it going? So um, anyway, so we started using Adobe Illustrator. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize Adobe Illustrator was like making things from shapes and stuff. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I can actually start drawing now because I'm bad with like like line work and stuff. Like that's not my thing. And I'm bad. I'm just I'm just not good with like executing my ideas when it comes to drawing. And my dad's always said like, it's just a skill. You just have to like practice it or whatever. But I've just never been interested enough to really get into drawing. So I discovered Adobe Illustrator and I was like, oh my gosh, you can make things from shapes. Like, I don't know. It just almost felt to me kind of like how Canva is. I don't like to think of myself as a graphic designer at all, but like Canvas makes it so easy because you just use templates or whatever and you just put shapes together to make things. And I don't know why that's just way easier for me. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> we had this assignment that we had to make a robot in Illustrator and uh, <laughs> so I made a robot. Okay. <laughs> and like, okay, so I introduced myself as like a marketing person because that was my job at the time when I was taking the class. It, I was like, yeah, so I've used like some graphic design softwares before. So, you know, this should be easy for me. <laughs> and it was not easy for me. Um, so I made a robot. <laughs> you want to talk about proportions being off? I don't even know what the proportions are supposed to be. Just look at it. If you see, okay, if you look at this and you think this is a robot, okay, um, I'm happy. Okay, if you think that this is a robot, I'm thrilled with this. If you look at this and say, what the frick is this and don't know if it's a robot, I do not blame you whatsoever. So, um, let me pull this up. That was my penguin robot. <laughs> Guys, I did so good. 10 out of 10, right? <laughs> it looks so bad. I don't even know. I think I was, I think here with the, with like this, like, um, 
<laughs> I think with this like a uh, uh, like a uh, layering or whatever like this ground I think I was trying to make an iceberg but <laughs> it almost looks like static <laughs> my penguin robot is floating on static and then I, I like made this robot and the deadline was coming up and I was just like I don't think that's a robot so I had to put in penguin robot <laughs> <laughs> to make my people like my peers and my professor know it was a freaking robot <laughs> um so um if you ever you know um if you ever take on drawing or anything or artwork um if people at least know what you drew, I call that a great day. <laughs> That's a win, in my opinion. <laughs> no one looks like a pregnant penguin, but what? I don't even think it looks pregnant. Like, I don't even know. See, this is a problem with the penguin part. I didn't know how to do like a beak or something that came out. So I gave it I gave it a smile because I was like a robot, you know, but honestly, it, lo it looks like it looks like a like a, a strung out looking like robot head on a penguin body <laughs> so um yeah so you guys um you guys got to see my robot it's very cringe it's 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 very cringe i love it it's great <laughs> um where'd my chat go i lost y'all Okay. Um boom ba boom. A strawberry blonde me lady, you say oh yeah, I've got something of that sort. Geo, what's up? I'm a tattoo artist. Some proportions will be crappy, but over time with practice you can make it non disproportionate or big or blocky. Hey, Geo, you're a tattoo artist? Dang. Can I get my next tattoo with you, Geo? I want a Lotro tattoo. But I just wanted to be really small. Uh, Sissa, you said mine does as well. My dog looks so weird, but I try, and trying is better than not trying. That's true. It is hard when you see others amazing, but it's okay. Yes, to Geo. Um, Silent, I played so much Battlefront 2 on the original Xbox. Now I can uh, only play with mods. Oh, you mean like the OG Battlefront 2? Oh wait, no, you mean like Battlefront 2? Yeah, Battlefront 2 does have mods too. I never play with play it with mods, but I really want to. Geo, I totally not have max speeder. Wait, hold on. Wait, Geo, 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 Geo. You're a starship Battlefront? Dude, that was the tournaments I always did. I always did Battlefront 2 star, Starfighter tournaments. I don't have any max, but dude, Maul ship, dude, Maul ship was like our tank. Like, like Maul was like the play all the time. So, Geo, I would love to like like we need to do some dog fighting i'm so sure i feel like geo we probably have played together numerous times because like we i used to do tournaments for a starfighter um do i don't know how to play grievous that's my that's my downfall i don't know how to play grievous uh your dad and the guy who made a uh, berserker would have gotten along great art was phenomenal if you haven't seen it but he has his worst he was his worst critic yep um saber even from a young age i wasn't a good drawer i should just stick to tr tracing paper yo tracing paper is helpful <laughs> oh hey geo's in youtube chat too um now you should keep practicing on drawing just keep on doing it yourself yeah Odie, anyone else uh myth about sandy some games blocking use for carry on game oh my gosh Odie, i was such a douchebag what do i play for battlefront 2 so I used to play um with this group called um Why am I spacing on <laughs> Chaos? I used to play with Chaos and we used to do Starfighter Assault like tournaments all the time. Um I mostly mained a bomber, which was so funny because I hated bomber. <laughs> But, um, oh, you meant like what I played on? Oh, um, I play on PC. I play on PC. But yeah, I used to, we used to do Starfighter tournaments all the time. I think they're still doing them, but I've just been playing Lotro. I really should 
meet back up with the dude. But yeah, like literally, this is my tur- my Battlefront tournament group. <sighs> okay, this isn't working out well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here I'll just. That's my, that's my, that's my group. But my dad got me into Starfighter, which I'm not, I'm honestly more of a, like, on the ground combat girly, but my dad hates playing that, so I always play Starfighter. But yeah, so that, that, that's, that's like our little clan. Oh, you play on Xbox? Dang. Dude, everybody's on Xbox. So, uh, we do have... There was this one person named Bobetta. Bobetta, um, I think, plays on Xbox mainly. But they also have a PC in play. But they, they only play on a controller. And it's, like, the most insane thing I've ever seen. So, you might have run into Bobetta um, throughout the time. Mm -mm -mm. but yeah about the carry-all bags it's all because of the festival that's a bug kept us from using the bag while in the festival spots wait really that's interesting um about carry-alls yo um i was such a douchebag yesterday and i was trying to open up my carry-all and it said you cannot do that and i was like what do you mean like i thought it was a glitch and everybody started messaging me like, Aubrey, did you not see the tweet? I was like, you guys are just trolling me. They were like, yeah, Standing Stone Games turned off carryalls. I was like, no, they did not. There's no way in heck they would ever even do that. Bro, I thought chat was trolling me so hard. I was such a douchebag. I didn't believe y'all for a second. And then my face when I saw the tweet and I was like, dang <laughs> i just couldn't believe it and i heard of that um <laughs> oh my gosh Gio. but yeah i i'm bummed but you know it's what my carry-all is li like honestly what's the point of a carry-all if you can't even fudging use it why do we pay so many gosh dang points if you can't use it my inventory is already full of af so Oh, yeah, when they disabled the flame. I remember that. Oh, man. I do remember that, Agartha. <laughs> I remember because I think I was still trying to, like, use it. Yeah, I'm making the minimum level higher than max level. Yeah, I remember that. It was, like, 151. <laughs> I was like, what? It's glitched. Uh, Snorgar doing good. Still yet to start the anniversary event, so hopefully by watching the stream I'll get motivation. Snorgar, you better start it sooner than later. If you don't do it, that's totally fair. But I'm just saying, if you're thinking about doing it, you should have started like two days ago because this event takes all the time necessary. But if if you're like starting it and then decide you don't want to, like, that's totally fair. Like, you can at least be like, yeah, well, not this season. It's not a penguin or a robot. It's a peng penguin bot. <laughs> um, I love it. The face makes me think of salad finger. <laughs> Valkyria, oh my gosh. Snorgar, everything is a start, but the penguin robot is watching the inside of my soul. I know, yeah, it is a scary one. Um away, oh, where are you from? Ohio. Um Snorgar, I can live with that as I don't have that much use for my carry outs. Hopefully they fix it soon. Yeah, me too. Saga edition mod for OG Battlefront 2 is great. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, how you doing? Just chatting today. Are we starting off? Well, we'll start soon. I guess I'm just chatting. Gio, thank you for contributing to the community challenge. Thank you. Odie, lol. Uh, all standing stone game has to do is reload the pre-anniversary settings. Yeah, who knows? Um, Gio, I played on Battlefront 2 on my on a PC before. Just have a level 100 Yoda, and that's it. Oh, only a level 100 Yoda only i think my highest level character i think i think it's a soldier i think my s assault is like 300 or so but don't quote me 
my like bomber interceptor and fighter are all 100 plus levels um but i have i don't think i even have many heroes that are gold plated so i'm like i don't know what it is like i don't have any max level characters or any characters that i use a lot in battlefront 2 but like well-roundedly all of my characters should be like at 100 plus minus my heroic starfighters those i never really pull out to be honest um dan yes they did turn off carry alls right now you cannot use them so yeah because i kept telling the chat yesterday i was like guys what are you talking about i literally used it earlier today and then apparently yeah while i was streaming that was an issue so <laughs> wild Sam Sam games better pay us all back for those unusable carry alls now <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to do that. I'll be shocked if they even were like, here, for your inconvenience, I'd be shocked if they even do that, honestly. Geo, that number is just wrong. <laughs> um, oh, wait, uh, is there any way to play the same account on a different server? Yeah, yeah. Um, Like, if you have your account name and all that, you get to choose like which server you want to join, but you can just pick whichever. And yeah. All your characters are under your account. Agarther, it's not necessarily easier to roll back code changes like unscrambling an egg. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> your lowest class is artillery at level 319. Dang. Oh, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, I probably still have like a level one rocket trooper somewhere. I hate the rocket troopers. I can't learn them. They're so hard. So it'll be my first time properly doing the anniversary event, so I don't really know how it works. Is it similar to the spring event? I had a really solid routine for that. Absolutely not. Um, the anniversary event is literally its own beast. Uh, there's not really a proper routine that I'm aware of. I've never been able to get a routine down for the anniversary event. I just run around all over the place. Uh, the thing with the anniversary event is that there's a scavenger hunt section at the party tree. I think really the only places you really have to truly focus on are you have to go to Bree, go near the boar fountain. Bree, there's also a little fireworks area that's like um it's right by that little like when you're by uh Westgate, the Westgate of Bree, and you go like up where that grocery is where the farmlands are for farmers and all that. There's like a little fireworks show over in that area. Yeah, or you could just look at the wiki like says to post it. Um but there's like a little fireworks show area that has like a few things there. Uh, Party Tree has all the scavenger hunts. Uh, Anniversary has scavenger hunts where you basically go all around Middle Earth doing all sorts of just wild things like replaying instances. I'm replaying skirmishes actually. We're gonna finish that today. Um, there's also uh, what's gonna call it? Oh, where you'll have to like go and like visit certain places and like do certain emotes or you're gonna have to go and like battle old foes and stuff so there's just like so much to do and you have a lot of traveling between a lot of things and unfortunately some of the stuff that's in there um you might have to like you might not even have unlocked so you'll have to go through the process of unlocking it like i have one scavenger hunt where i'm supposed to go by and redo all of these old instances i did but i don't have some of the instances so i've had to go through and like go through my old quests because they're like side quest things i have to go through my old quests and then actually like go back through the quest line lotro wiki it and then try to then get the instance it's so crazy um so i yeah it, it's it's a lot. It's one of the most overwhelming events, I think. I don't like to call it a festival at all. It's definitely an event in my eyes because it's just so not structured like a festival. Like festivals, you kind of have like they're they're in the same general areas most of the time. There's like a section of quests where you would go around, but anniversaries really it's really hard because the tokens even with doing all that, you don't get many tokens for it. Like it's just it's a lot. But don't be overwhelmed, you know? It, just try it once. But I'm telling you, like, you are losing so much time not doing it right now if you're on the fence about it. Just pick it up, think about it. And if you don't want to do it, like, no harm, you know? Yeah, you can't you can't open them, uh, Dan. If you try to click on them, you'll get an error message that says you can't do that. Uh, Valkyria, I have both on Evernight and Crick Hollow works fine. 
Well, uh, like right now, if you went in the carryalls, I think it was like, I think it happened like, oh God, it was probably like early evening yesterday where this all triggered with the carryall. So like you guys can't access your carryalls right now. You just can't open them up or like put anything in them. You can't play the same account on multiple servers at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. But I just think they mean like if it can play on a different server under an account. But yeah, if that's what you're asking, yeah, maybe they are. Uh, Geo, you love Ariel. <laughs> um, you can you can pad SSG's wallet and get instant level ups from the store. Oof. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, Geo, my, my highest kill streak in one game is the Galactic Republic on the ground Camino. I got a 11.4k kill streak on co op. Was it glitched? Highest kill streak I ever had was like 100. <laughs> um. Oh, you mean a Lotro? Oh, Battlefront 2, but it's not a problem. Oh, I got you. Uh, if you're Sally swimming in, in uh, to the Agonareth with a Sissa escort. <sighs> yeah, you might need an escort. Yeah, honestly, I won't lie to you guys. There's honestly no point in doing the anniversary event if you're lower than level, like, probably lower than level 90. That's my honest opinion. Other people could say otherwise. There are wor workarounds around it, but like, nah. I don't even touch it. I'm just now touching it because I'm level like 128 now, so. Um, don't get me wrong, but that sounds more annoying than fun if you ask me. I like the spring effect because it was fun. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's honestly, Snorgar, I think the anniversary event is something that most people do not like. Um. But spring, the spring fest is fine. Dan, uh, so you can't open them, but will crafting items go to them automatically, or crafting items just go into your bags? Um, they sh. Ooh, I don't know because I know people that have that. I I don't have that turned on, so nothing's changed for me because I don't have it. The crafting items automatically go in there. I'm gonna assume they don't, but check the tweet. Odie Winterfest and Autumn Fest are the best ones. I like so much stuff to do and earn. Um, I do really like Yuletide. Yuletide's a bunch of fun. The winter one. Um, Fall Fest is okay. Um, Odie, you said, nope, the bags are totally locked. Can't get anything uh, in them and can't auto load either. Can't auto load. Dang. Hawk, thank you so much for contributing into the community challenge. Thank you. Hey, Bor Bor, how you doing? Hello. Geo, if you contest a point, uh, you can get a lot of kills. Ooh. 25% complete! Board, board, thank you! We're 25% completed on the Gandalf Community Challenge, which I think just started Thursday. So good job, guys. We're already at 100, 100k community point. Holy crap. You guys had a lot of points. Thanks, board, board, for contributing to the other one. <laughs> uh, let's go! You guys really want a Gandalf appearance, eh? Uh, was doing that with Sally, yeah. Agartha, you say you can do the Ariador version of the scavenger hunt at 50 or below. Yes, but the, it doesn't work. I don't know why. I can't get that freaking scavenger hunt to work. I don't know what I'm missing, Agartha. Like, I have looked at the damn wiki. I've literally done it. I had this issue with Copy yesterday. Copy and I, we did the Ariador version of the scavenger hunt, okay? So I go and I click on the scroll, okay? I click on the scroll. I click on the scroll. I have several options for year one because this character had never started it. Year one, I have six quests, okay? So I look through the quests. It's like the Frodo one, the Tails one, and like the traveling one, I think is what they are. So I see the six quests, okay? I go through. I see that one list is shorter than the other, aka the area door list is shorter than the others. So I specifically selected the area door ones, okay? We went through and completed all three of them. All three of them. 
And still, the only quests that are left remaining for me to complete for year one are just the long list ones, which are like, you know, higher level stuff. Okay, so I go and I turn in these shorter list ones because we did all three. All three. You only need to do one in order to progress to year two. Bro. I still, my quest still says on year one, it says that I need to complete a year one scavenger hunt card. I'm like, I've literally completed all three short ones for you, but they never trigger for me. They never do. I don't know what it is. Like, am I missing something? I have the quest to complete year one. I did all three of the shortened versions of year one and they won't let me. And now all I have left is just the long ones, which I can't effing do because I'm a level 20 something. Anyway. And I, 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 I've had that issue every single year, which is where I get mad at the event and everybody else I know is having the same thing. Copy had the same exact thing, the same exact issue. Sometimes the quest complete, but the quest action dialogue doesn't show up. Need to relog for that. I need to relog for that. So it's just a glitch is what you're saying. Oh my golly. <laughs> Sanding zone, bro. <sighs> oh, board board joined y'all in Black Rip Vale. Nice. Silent doing it just for the mounts. That's it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. Dude, I don't know what it is about the anniversary event. They have like one of the best looking like pets, ho horses, um, like even the goat. I want the goat so bad. Hopefully, we can get the goat today. But they have like the best rewards. I don't know what it is. I literally bought a present, present, present of me in a box or whatever it is. Like you, you present in the box or something. I don't know. Odie annoys me beyond stellar levels too because most of the crafting mats are in the bags. Yeah. Hey, Ninth Pond, how you doing? Geo, Aubrey, don't worry. I will go to bed at like 2.30 a.m. <laughs> Why don't you just go to bed now, Geo? Odie, oh, spring, summer, uh, fall, and winter have the best mounts ever. Eh, I don't know about that. Summer has some nice mounts, but they're so niche. Like I remember like the the instrument playing mount or whatever that was available one year. I was like, I don't actually like this. So so thank you for contributing to the community challenge. So thank you. The official notice said carry alls previously said to all the ga gather continue to do so. Says Garther. Oh, okay, so it should auto gather still? Uh, away, I have a really, uh, really stupid, but I am a European and I'd like to know if you visited New York or populated cities. Have you remember popular scenes from movies like Strange, th uh, like Strange of Things or I don't know. Um, I've been to, I've been to New York City twice now, two or three times now. I've been to Chicago. Um, Chicago, they film, was it Chicago? Are they film something? No. There was one place I went to where they filmed some Dark Knight stuff. I I remember because um I went with someone who was like a massive fan of the Batman movies, and then they were like, This is the this is the street that they filmed on. Like they were like so into it, and I was like, What? <laughs> I hadn't even seen the, any of the Batman movies at that point, the live action ones. Um Yeah, so um yeah, I mean like it's cool, but like I think the thing is like a lot of the movies I like to watch that have like IRL like places that you had to film or whatever, like on location. Um, hey, Poteen, hey, old you, how you doing? Um, a lot of the places I've been to where they filmed on location that I really like to watch, Oya, is like older movies. So one of my favorite movies, it's a silent film. Um, I don't even know if you can really watch it. It was like, I think it's, uh, I want to say 1927 is when it came out. It was probably earlier, but um, there's this movie called A Man with um, is it A Man with a Camera? A Man with a Movie Camera, something like that. But basically, it's literally someone who just went through um, I, I think it was like the Soviet Union. They like went through certain places back at the Soviet Union when I was called that, and they just like went through and like took pictures and filmed things like just that you saw normally. Uh, back in those days and it's so fudging fascinating because it's like they had all these like train cars like just rolling around like there was no like crosswalks really like everybody was just getting off everywhere like there's just people all over walking all over it's so awesome um 
So I like watching stuff like that that really like, I guess really likes to film on vacation or uh, sorry, on vacation, on location that was like way, way uh, like earlier days because, you know, a lot of that isn't really accurate now. Like a lot of things have just been so like technologically advanced, I guess. So but yeah, I mean, like, New York City and all that stuff. Uh, this is the thing with all the stuff that you see in the movies, okay? They never... You never talk about the smells of these places, okay? <laughs> like, New York City is one of the, the like, smelliest places I've probably ever been to. It's not a good smell. It smells like trash everywhere. Because there's a lot of trash everywhere. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, populated cities are overrated. I was really excited to go to California and when I finally did, I was like, I really over like my I really over romanticized it. Hey Goose, how you doing? I didn't plan on just chatting today, but I'm down for it, you know. I have to like I still I do have to step away for a second whenever I catch up on chat. Um 17th anniversary fest, put a bug in them. Yeah, bland, yeah. With the carry alls. Uh, Snorgar, so what you're saying is that I should look and try the anniversary event, but other than that, it shouldn't really bother. Maybe that's good, as I should really continue with the story. Yes, exactly, Snorgar. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. See, you know what I mean. Sometimes the quest complete, but the quest action dialogue doesn't show up. I'm so sad by that. Geo, I have D&D &D at 9pm to 2am EST. Oh my golly. Goats are fun pets, Aubrey. Yeah, they are. Um, arson buddy. Oh my gosh, arson buddies. <laughs> Three out of six of the arson buddies are here. Yeah, poutine me and Aubrey. Heck yeah, let's get some uh arson or um, let's spread some arse. Um, poutine, you said Hector and the search for happiness is my favorite movie. I haven't watched that. Uh, OD, if you want to meet some movie stars and even trail ride with them on the horse on the second weekend in October, go to Lone Pine, California for the film fest and interviews. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I, I, I used to be a film major. That's what I majored in in college. And then I stopped. And now I don't really like watching movies. I think, I think that's the thing. I really love watching older movies. Um, movies that are shot on location of places most of the time. I like older movies that are like black and white that I guess were ahead of their time, which is hard to find, but there's just some amazing movies that were produced back in the day. And I feel like everything that's ever come out just replicates everything. Like, I think that's the craziest part is that I'm shocked my favorite movie of all time is Sunset Boulevard because I feel like I never watched a film like Sunset Boulevard and I never would have expected something made in 1950 to have such like a, um, what's the word? Like, there's a lot of like windows in that movie to a lot of things that you won't really catch your first time watching it. But like, the more I started studying it and the more that they were like putting in these little like, just like, nuggets of things that would be very highly controversial back in those days it's just it's so crazy to watch it because i'm it's like all these things i started studying about it i was like oh my gosh like i can't believe that like i noticed some of these things and we talked about them in my film class but then when i actually started researching it i was like dang they were really like heavily implying what i thought they were implying but i was like there's no way they're going on such a controversial like a subject matter on such like a copy play like a copy and paste sort of like easy done it film noir movie like I, I was just I love that movie for that reason so because I've lived in big cities and small towns I much prefer cities I love cities don't get me wrong I really want to move to a big city that's my next goal after college that's what I'm doing but like I don't like small towns but I think the problem with big cities is that people think of like New York City and they think like, I don't know, they're going to get like some big break or something or it's going to be so beautiful. Like it's going to be just like the movies. And it's never like that. Literally New York City. I was just talking about that yesterday. I was like, all you smell in New York City is trash. There's tons of rats if it's garbage night. Um, 
the people literally keep to themselves like in, in these movies when they're in new york city and like this romance gosh there was a romance movie like a scene i watched on youtube the other day and it was like this girl was trying to go to the bathroom and like this person was like no it's only for customers which is true literally in new york city they'll have like 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 wait times and stuff like even if you buy stuff some places they'll be like you can only stay here for like 30 minutes or something it's wild but anyway um yeah, it's like they will not let you use the restroom. You'll be shocked sometimes if they have a public restroom, but most of the time you have to pay in order to use a restroom. So anyway, so this per this girl, she's like, oh yeah, like I, I just need to go to the restroom. Can I use your restroom? And then like this the 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 scene or whatever is just some person. They're just like, oh, you have to be a paying customer or whatever. And she's like, oh okay, great, you know. And then like. <laughs> like the the person who was working the counter was just being a douchebag like they, they were they weren't gonna let her go to the bathroom they weren't gonna give her the key and then it was like random dude cues in romance movie and it was like yeah i'll help her you know and like talk to her and stuff i was like bro new york city this is how it goes literally if someone breathes in your direction if they're talking to you half the time people just look and act like you don't even exist that's how it works okay you don't meet people <laughs> literally that was the funniest part about going to new york city right when covid was wrapping down because everybody was so nice and everybody was like just so there's a spider on my wall and it's like scaring me anyway um but like people were so nice and i was like maybe it's because of covid maybe everybody's lighting up no it was just because i was around tourist like areas and i was talking to tourists and i was like oh yeah <laughs> it was so great so, like i i would make a comment and then people would like interject in my conversations <laughs> but that's not how it works in new york city man <laughs> no gee i have to let the spider jump on me it was on my curtain i did see it earlier today literally i was starting stream i pulled my curtain and then i saw it way up at the top and i was like oh my god but yeah anyway i just i just really want to specify don't romance big cities okay they're smelly. There's people everywhere. The wait times are crazy. The traffic is just a monstrosity. And um, yeah, but I mean, they're cool. I mean, I love big city vibes, but I don't think I could ever forever live in a big city. How long did it take you to get to Mordor? I mean, uh, by Questline? Oh, gosh. Uh, three years IRL? <laughs> Pretty much um lots of lots of time away uh but i honestly i stream it so i took my time arthur honestly the only thing i like from anniversary are the toast emo barter for torch carrying emotes and to barter for anniversary maps which are useful other times of year. yes that's true that's a good point spread some mars and tied some orcs on a tree and burn them hey <laughs> let's go let's go away oh, yeah, not lord of the ring no lord of the rings isn't even in my top five uh liked favorite movies sorry sorry peter jackson it's the older movie stars heck yeah only actors i love to me are ones who love their crap not spouting their political views entertainment is supposed to be an escape and gosh i've met some actors that just could care less about their jobs <laughs> and i'm like oh wow okay slowly waits for the new lord of the rings movie coming out in eight months that's a film of low pine silent actors from 50 60s and up to 2k who love their all well the problem is all the silent actors i like they're all they're all gone now so uh check out a word on westerns for a peek at what to expect i got you Odie. want the, yeah Better watch out, the spider will eat you. No, he'll probably eat my food that I have sitting here. Better watch out. <laughs> Snorgar, I hate spiders. I don't like spiders, but like... As long as the spider stays on the other half of my room, like on the other side, we're cool. Like, I'm not gonna go out. As soon as it comes around, and like if it's on my desk or something, you cross my boundary line, you're done. <laughs> um. New York State exists now to support NYC, pretty much. Dude, that was the craziest thing. I remember when I went to New York City. It was the first place I ever went to New York. And then for my 13th birthday, I went to Buffalo, New York. That was, that's where I wanted to go. I want to go to Buffalo, New York. Um, and I stayed in Buffalo, New York. And I was so confused because I was like, you mean to tell me like 
New York City doesn't populate like all of New York and like the city like it's not that massive like <laughs> like I went to Buffalo New York and it was like kind of small and I was just like huh New York has small cities I was so confused <laughs> 17 years, yeah, Blender, 17. Cody, me too. Aw, uh, I'm sorry you guys are scared of the spooters. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel better, this this spooter might this spooter is very small and it, it seems friendly. Blender, you said I play since beta and still don't have a max character. <laughs> hey, me too. I'm just now getting to my max character. It took me it took me my whole uh Basically my whole life to get a max level character. <laughs> and I'm not even at max level. I did have one max level character at one time in my life when the max level was 100, but now that's not the case. Goose, Lord of the Rings movie is okay. The Hobbit sucked. Lord of the Rings is a great movie. Okay, like, great movie trilogy, but... I just have, like, almost like this automatic dislike for any movies that's been produced like 2000 and above like i just they just all feel the same lord of the rings definitely stands out and it's very well crafted but like it's so long man it's it's long and i get it, it could have been way longer i haven't even read the books but i just, I just it's hard man Snorger so the Hobbit was decent. I had plenty of moments that were confusing, didn't add up or make sense, but uh, say it was very bad. It's just not true. I don't even remember The Hobbit. That's the sad part. I remember Lord, more from Lord of the Rings. Like, that's how I know if I really genuinely liked something because I'm specifically someone, most of the time, if there's like one scene I really liked in a movie, that means I love that movie. It's kind of weird how it works, but like, if there's a very memorable scene. I'm like, all right. But I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I don't remember anything from The Hobbit. I remember, like, the end. But, like, the endings are typically most memorable. Like, I know what happens at the end. But, like, other than that, I don't remember. I was so hyped because I love Martin Freeman. I was so in my, like, uh, that was my era where I loved Martin Freeman as an actor. and Just absolutely loved him. So when he got casted as Bilbo, I was like, oh my god. But I don't even remember him being Bilbo. Like, I don't even remember a scene with him as Bilbo. Like, I don't... Uh, <laughs> like, I remember... And I love Benedict Cumberbatch, who played... Because uh, that was my that was my era of Sherlock. I really loved the Sherlock TV show. I'm actually re-watching it right now. Love it. Such a good, well-crafted show. It, it's so good. Um, but anyway, Benedict Cumberbatch, Martin Freeman, those were my dudes, because I love that show. But um, even Benedict Cumberbatch playing, I think, Smog, the dragon, whatever. I don't even remember half of that. But he did such a good job. <laughs> but I don't even remember him doing a good job. So, like, how can I say that? <sighs> Odie said fully 85% of the actors I've worked with all love their job. That's impressive. Sorry, however, I don't think I'll ever watch them again. Wallace, I definitely watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy again. That's true. Saber, no, nah, spiders don't scare me, rats do- Yeah, rats scare the frick out of me. Yeah, frick that. I'm moving if there's ever a rat. There's actually little mice outside of my apartment complex. They're really cute, okay? If they weren't really tiny and, like, adorable, I would, like, I would have moved by now. But, yeah, they are kind of cute. But rats are, like, terrifying. Uh, Gio, you said I'm waiting for Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. Kiki, hey, hello, it's my day off so I can watch you. Yay, hey, Kiki, welcome in. So good to have you. Uh, whoa. <laughs> I just read Gio's comment. Sorgar, uh, the smaller, the stealthier. Two, they are never friendly. That's true, they are never friendly. Silent, it's like Cali exists for LA and San Francisco. Uh, it'd be nice to see them back in the early 1900s to 1940s. Watch some old movies, man. Dude, the old looking of San Francisco looks so cool. San Francisco looked way cool. But no, I mean, I think for California, it's so different. California has so many different places. Like, holy crap. I, I know so many people who live in Cali, but they don't live in any of the most, like, populated areas. In fact, like, they live in, like, very, um, like, remote areas. But it just seems like 
the landscaping like structure and stuff like very outdoorsy vibes like they really like it so i should read the books i know goose um the hobbit felt like it was mad just to make more oh it was made just to make more money yeah i wouldn't be surprised if that were the case at all callie has destroyed oregon washington state colorado and a couple other cities uh, Goosey said they, they expanded the movies to make three movies. Yeah, Smog's voice was so good, said Tim. Heck yeah, bro. Benedict Cumberbatch, his what? Ooh, his voice, man. I love Benedict. He's like one of my top actors. There's like, there's only a few actors that like, I really think are actually just like the most talented piece of people. And Benedict Cumberbatch, he's one of them. Um, um, why am I blanking? Uh, Tom Hiddleston, bro, he's another one. I, you know, he's fine as Loki or whatever, bro. There's this one show I saw him in forever changed my perspective of him as an actor. He did so good and the show was so good. And like, I feel like nobody talked about it. Um, And it's called The the Night Manager. It's older now. I think it, I think it came out in like 2013 or something, but it was such a good show. And he did so good in it. And I was like, ooh. Yeah, man. There's so many shows. I'm trying to think of another actor where I'm like, man, they're just so talented. Honestly, like there there are like people that you just know. Like Johnny Depp will forever be a great actor to me, okay? He's fantastic. Like, but you know, I'm trying to think of like greats that like I don't think most people would say are like the bestest, but I feel like are just so talented. Snargar, you said The Hobbit feels like it was forced just for the comedy to feast upon the success of the Lord of the Ring trilogy to make more bank. Yeah. See, that's the thing with... That's why I don't like a lot of films lately, or movies. I'm gonna say movies. Um, because it's just a money-making business at this point, guys. It really is. I don't like to go to movie theaters because I don't want to support it now. It's not even... It's not even a love. It's not a craft anymore. It's not really a passion thing. It's just a business. It's just a business, just a greedy freaking business right now. And I'm, I just don't, it shows, man. Like, tell me something you've seen that was like majorly like big budget produced that was like absolutely incredible. There's not much. And the stuff that you'll see in the movie theaters, I think are like half decent that seem like people had a passion for it. They're all lower budget films most of the time. So he played a Sauron too. Wait, really? A uh, saber. I'm a guy who enjoyed both Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit equally, so I'm the only person here who does. No, nah, that's all right. Valkyria. Oh, I love Benedict. It was so fun when he was on the British TV show and they called him. <laughs> yeah, they talked to him about the penguin. <laughs> yeah, he says penguin. Yeah, when he was on a uh, Graham Norton show, I think I think it was Graham Norton. Um. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm a cumber bitch. That's what we're called. Cumber bitches. Fans of Benedict to cumber batch. Hey. <laughs> Odi, now my former home state, Oregon. Or, I, I say Oregon. I'm sorry. It's Oregon or whatever. I'm sorry. Banning all branches and farms? No. The Hobbit movies missed the whole point of the book. Oh. Actually, time travel to that point. Right, Silent, that's what I'm saying. I like watching old films because it does feel like we're time traveling. It kind of does. I love that. And it's like we're time traveling IRL. Like, it's crazy. Uh, You want to join the times for sure, me lad? Oh. <laughs> Blender, yes, I love the Sherlock TV show. Oh, man, I love that show so much. I think it's like... It's probably my top three most favorite TV shows of all time. Odie, maybe we'll travel back when the sun sends her EMP wit. What? <laughs> Snorgar, uh, yeah, uh, true, same with games. Yeah, same with games. They will always go safe or similar. The work that wasn't, isn't as original or good. All the big companies don't want to risk anymore or try something new. It's tragic. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yep, same thing with games. There aren't really that many games I've really that were like big budget produced games. There aren't really a like, a lot of the games I've been watching lately have been um, indie. Yeah. Valkyria, yeah, uh, it was, just forgot his name. Yeah, I got you. Oh my gosh, I'm finally catching up on chat. It only took me an hour. 
I'm sorry. Oh, thanks for the uh, hydrate, Sissa. Valkyria, uh, I've seen so many clips. <laughs> um, also at work, when it's chill and there's often a customer that comes in, I'm laughing with tears. <laughs> yeah. I'm just the guy with unpopular opinions here, you say, Saber. Yo, it's okay. Have you have you heard me speak? I have so many unpopular opinions, okay? <laughs> Snorgar Alian always feels like the new games are, are tech demos just showing what their engine can do and you need 15 data centers to run it properly. Yep, pretty much. Elden Ring and Boulder's Gate were amazing. Favorite recent indie was Vampire Survivors. I heard some stuff about that. Uh, hey, Lord Dieter, dude, how's it going? I saw you were streaming earlier. How was your stream? We're literally just chatting today. I'm, I'm loving the vibes. I'm just sitting here, chilling, eating some food. Well, I haven't even eaten my food. All right, guys, so the spider is slowly making its way down by my closet. And I have to go over there to get my laundry so I can actually, like, start my laundry today. It was anniversary fun. Let's go. That's what we should do. I still haven't even posted on Discord. I was like, I, I had all this. I had a whole hour to do that, and I still didn't do it. Oh, big yikes. Oh, big yikes, guys. Okay. Um, here, why don't we actually play the anniversary? And we can keep talking. I swear. We'll keep talking. Um, guys, my hair is a mess today. I'm so sorry. Like, should I pull it back? You guys want, like, ponytail Aubrey today? Yeah? Ponytail? Like, when my hair is, like, kind of curly, like, the curls are still intact, I don't want to wash it. But, yeah, hey, maybe. No, not a high one. Here, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do a low one. One in doubt, low, low side ponytails for the win, right? Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it looks better this way. I I don't know. I just feel I feel better on the side. Yes, can't do high ones. Get migraines fat. Yes, that's true. I know. I don't really do high ponytails much. I always do buns if I do any more like high buns. Do my high buns be cute though when they're messy? But I can never do a messy one when I need to. Um, bum bada bum, bum bada bum, bum bada bum, bum bada bum. Let us get this started. Maybe. Um. All right, now I'll post that I'm live on Discord. How about that? Bum ba da bum, bum ba da bum. Uh, uh, uh. My PC working overtime today. I'm so hungry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I need food. Okay. Um. Oh. Big yikes. <laughs> okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Ponytail suits you well. Thanks, soul. Um. Tip is to have a fly smasher. It saves me so much. Well, the problem is the spider's on the ceiling. I can't reach him. And, well, actually, now he's by my closet doors. But I'm still not. I'm too short. It's my five foot fourness that's coming out now. <laughs> Savory said Star Wars Outlaws looks like garbage is an ungodly price for three different versions that didn't need to be made. Saber, I haven't decided whether I'm not gonna play it yet. I don't know. The voice acting 
sounds absolutely horrible. Like the acting seems so bad. Like, it, I don't know. Love bonds. Yeah, me too, Valkyria. Jules is worried about you, Geo. Wait, what? I just texted Jules. <laughs> I literally just messaged her. I keep saying texted. I'm so used to texting people, not DMing. Which reminds me, I have to text my other. Oops. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have friends over, guys! Oh my gosh! Um, this is so wild, guys. I haven't... This is gonna sound so sad. Since I've moved here, I don't think I've had any friends over. I haven't had friends over my place since... When was the last time I had friends over at a place, period? I think it's been over a year since I had friends over. Like, at any place I ever lived. It's been over a year. I'm excited. <laughs> My friends and I were like, oh yeah. Like, we need, we wanted to hang out because we haven't seen each other in a while. And then my one friend was like, well, I'm not going to go out because I'm broke. So we were like, okay, well, we can hang out at someone's place. But the normal place we would hang out at my one friend's place at her house, she wasn't available. Um, we're here said to, I know. I know you guys are so awesome. Guys, I, okay. I said I was going to play the dang game, but I have, I have to go on another ramble. So I feel like something that I've been battling with personally is I feel like I have two different lives and I don't like this at all. I feel like I'm almost lying to everyone when I'm in one like atmosphere of my life versus the other. And by that, I mean like online versus IRL. Like I'm so different in person. In person, like at work and stuff, I keep to myself. I don't bother people. I literally am quiet. Like I don't trust people easily. So everything I say, I feel like is going to be used against me. So I don't, I don't say anything. So I'm like totally not like this. Streaming and everything feels great. Being online and having friends online and all that, like, I don't know. It's just like, I'm not someone, I don't like being quiet because personally, when I was in kindergarten, I was like mute. Like I was that shy. I was that definitely terrified. And it's taken me so many years to get po like past that and I hit a point in my life when I was probably about like 12 when I took an acting class and that's kind of where like my my teacher yelled at me one day and she was like you need to use your voice and I was like I've never like she was like you owe it to yourself to use your voice and it was just for a scene but like that stuck with me and that ever since then I've made made it a thing that I I'm, I became a lot more outspoken, which was bad because I didn't have filters. <laughs> but now I'm at the point where I feel like I know when to apply filters and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm at a good point. But the problem that happened is I've really regressed in this last year or two because I was working at my marketing job and I was really anxious because I never had like an actual office job before. And then with people who are like people who have power like political power power with places and like had money to like killed people repu like pe killed to kill people's reputation so i was always on edge there so i never spoke and then that became a big issue at my job because you know i'm someone who they all like hired to give them like ideas of marketing and stuff but i never really wanted to give my ideas because i don't like that but anyway so now I'm at this point where I don't work at that job now and I feel great because that job was so like, just for me, it was just so much like pressure. Like it, it was, it was always like I had to keep quiet about things and I didn't like that. And it brought me back to the, like the time when I was mute and all that. Like it was, it was so bad. So anyway, so I love streaming because it's like, I could talk more. I talk to you guys. Like, I don't feel 
like I have to worry as much. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, I don't, I feel like I could be more of myself. And I love that because I hate when I have to silence myself, you know? So anyway, now that I've been online for so long and everybody around me, like friend group wise, IRL, family, they're like, Aubrey, you need to go out because I don't go out as much as I used to. I used to go out like every weekend. Now it's like, I haven't been out in like, um, like months <laughs> and they're like worried about me. But I'm like, no, trust me. Like I have a good group of core friends online now. Like you guys are here. My golly. Like, I feel like I've had the most support ever in my life, which is so crazy to say. So thank you. Um, but like, I feel like there's so many people I could talk to, you know? And like, I, I've never had that before. Like, I always felt like I couldn't trust people. So anyway, long story short, <laughs> cause now I'm like really thinking about it. I'm like starting to get emotional, but like, um, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I almost have two lives because online and stuff, I feel like, I feel like I can be me, but in person still, I feel like I'm being judged for being me. So I'm just slowly disconnecting from most of my friends, IRL, family, even IRL. And like, that's not good. There should be a good balance, but it's like, I don't really have good. I don't really have like a good group core of people I can really trust. And I feel like have my best interests at heart IRL. So yeah, that's my, that's, that's my, my tangent. <laughs> I'm sorry. But like, I do feel like I live two lives almost because I try to like make it clear to the people in person, like why streaming is important. And I talk about streaming a lot. It's kind of, it's kind of, it, it's kind of ridiculous. I need to chill. I need to like get hobbies <laughs> that people can relate to because no one understands streaming, but like, I just love it, you know? So I don't know. Like, it's just hard because I do feel like, you know, people don't want to they don't understand it. So then it's like, OK, we could talk about something else. But then it's like there's not like all of my life is kind of encompassed by it. So I don't I don't know. You understand, Blender? See, th maybe that's the thing, too, is that you guys get me <laughs> and you get this dilemma. <laughs> and so I just I just. I gravitate to a John Moore. <laughs> oh, the bear. Oh, I'm sorry, Valkyria. You asked about the bear, the beer fighting arena. It's in Thorns. Okay, so if you go right up to Thorns Hall, like right up to the gate, you're at the gate, you're about to walk in. On your left, there's a door. There's a small little door, not the big, large, like door to get in the hall. On the left, there's this door that you'll go in. It's like a secret passage, and I'll take you right to the beer fighting. <laughs> you pre-ordered outlaws on xbox you say do you do do to your poor decision of sleep that's why she's worried about me all so like i said i'm not a fan of ubisoft uh especially after them saying that you should get used to not owning your games but i'm a massive far cry fan and will continue to get those yeah mm. saber i need to get me one of those friends you speak of <laughs> od art games aren't too good either with how they're always messing up logins. Oh. Valkyrie said, so, oh, I only have one friend visiting me here since I moved here almost three years ago. And it was my cousin and her boyfriend. Aww. Man, get you some friends that'll go and get like visit you, you know? Dan, filters are overrated. I'm just learning how to use them too, sadly. Hey, you know, better late than never, I guess. Um Dan, what do you mean? Everyone understands what is amazing. <laughs> what is amazing about Hobbit Feeding? Bro, I can't wait to, I'm going to talk to my friends today and be like, yeah, so Hobbit Feet Pig, and they'll be like, huh? So, no, these, this group of friends that I'm about to see today, um, they, um, <laughs> Geo, you're lurking. All right, go get you some sleep, Geo. Um, but yeah, the group of friends I'm going to see today, um, well, one of them's a mod, so, like, <laughs> one of them's a mod here. She understands, like, I feel like her and I, we talk a lot about stuff because she streams occasionally, and she just gets it, you know? So we talk a lot one-on-one -on -one about that sort of things because she does understand, so that's nice. And then the other people that, um, 
who are in this friend group that I'm about to see, um, they don't really understand it as much, but like they're open minded enough. So it's nice. But I, we don't see we used to all work together at some point, but um, we don't really see each other that much just because life. But so it'll be nice to see everybody. It's been I think it's been since like January since we hung out. So. Yeah, Gio, all my IRL friends are my coworkers at the studio. I mean, that's how I've gotten a lot of friends. A lot of the friends I have still are old coworkers. Um, yeah. Tim, there's just more people online than IRL and easier to meet the same type of people online. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe. I just feel like... I feel like the problem I have IRL right now is my age because... The people I work around at certain jobs are like high schoolers because it's like, you know, like the easy entry type of jobs, like first job type of jobs, you know, that I've worked. So they're like high schoolers and they're all like, oh, my gosh, yeah, like I'm going to go to this high prestige college and I have this significant other and they're going to we're all going to live together and like it's going to be great. And like, I'm like. Mm, you you got some growing up to do still you know like you'll get there i got some growing up to do still too but like i remember when i felt that way like i was like yeah i'm gonna go to like i wanted to go to the university of southern california like george lucas or something that never happened so glad i did not because that was like ninety thousand a year ridiculous but anyway um yeah so <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'm like, I remember having those hopes and dreams and stuff, but like IRL, real life, like most people aren't thinking about like the finances at that age. So whatever. But, you know, and, and then other people are just like pure party addicts. And I'm like, mm, never been my scene. I don't want to go out all the time, all the time. And when I used to go out, yeah, I used to drink a lot. Now I don't drink at all because of bad experiences. So. Therefore, don't hang out with that crowd. <laughs> and then there are other coworkers I work with who are like, you know, older, more established, like have their own businesses, like, you know, doing the things. But I don't really hang out with them because it's weird because I'm so young to be hanging around with people who are like late 30s, you know, unless it's in a professional setting, then like it's fine. But like, if I were personally like, yeah, like, let's just go out and like, go get some like diet Cokes together at a restaurant. that would be like, it'd be like this big thing. So I don't hang around people like that most of the time anymore either because of that. Um, yeah. And most of the time, the people who I do hang out with who are older like that, I normally hang out with other coworkers who are around their age. And then I'm kind of like excluded because I'm the younger one, you know? So it's just hard IRL because it's like it, it, people who are in my age group right now, they're either partying, they're going through their own stuff where I'm like, I've been through that stuff. I'm telling you like, you're really over, like you're just like, you, like, I, like they still, they still have some maturity to do. And I have maturity to do as well. But I feel like there's just some things that some simple things that it's just hard for me to watch because I'm like, this is just like, there's so many red flags. And like, I just, but like people got to learn, they got to learn the hard way. So I'm just here anyway. Um, yeah. And then there's like older people who I would hang out with, but like, it's just weird. You know, like it's, it's, it's awesome. like, I have a lot of teachers who I used to go to school with who I have worked with like professionally, like once I graduated and stuff. And then I did hang out with a few of them because they were so chill. And then it turned into like all these rumors and stuff. So then I like, we were just like, we're just disconnecting because I don't want to ruin anyone's rep. And then it's just stupid, you know? <laughs> so like, yeah. So here we are. Uh, silent. You said, only friends I ever see is my best friend ever since I became disabled. People just said no. Aw, yeah, those weren't true friends. Yeah, you will definitely learn who really cares. Yeah, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, Silent. I avoid their games like the plague because they are. <laughs> hey, Toadster, do you even sleep? I don't sleep. I got off and you're still gaming and I just got up. Yo, Toadster, I literally haven't even started gaming. We've just been chatting. It's been great. I should just change this to just chat and category and call it a day. <laughs> 
Valkyria, I sure I sure should. People were people was mad because I didn't want to hang out during the pandemic. Oh, you're in the high risk group. Oh, so we fell out. Good riddance. Yeah, frick those people. Good riddance. You build a community here, Aubrey. I know it's so nice. I love having. I love being a part of a community. You know, like and like having this. Like it, it means a lot, guys. It really does. Geo, I'm 28. My youngest friend is 17 years old for a tattoo apprenticeship. Oldest friend is 52. My, you know, this is so sad. A lot of the people that I would hang out with, go out with on weekends were my mom's friends. Like, I feel like that, I feel like, I feel like that's kind of sad, but like, I liked my mom's friends. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, they're just, that, like, they, they're all just at that point. Like, my mom's good with people. I don't know what it is. My mom just, she's got this good, like, BS detector with people. And if people have some BS going on, she's just like, er, 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 steer clear. <laughs> like, Wah. and like, she's just good with avoiding so much, I guess. <laughs> so I try to do the same. Yeah, I became a streamer till it's three. Yep, sounds good. <laughs> wait, 90, wait, 90 thousand dollars a year yeah yeah for freaking film school <laughs> why so i could be like unemployed my whole life lord Dieter, dude i never grew up is that a problem honestly nah. gadget speaking of drinking <laughs> drinking i'm gonna just inhale my cranberry juice oh do you say yep shame that a lot of people are so selfish they can't they can't stand to say friends who became handicapped someone told me once that it's because they fear the handicap is contagious are you fudging kidding me oh my golly wow that is a wild thing to say i can't believe like comments like that it just makes me sad that some people are some people really just think that in their like like everybody's in their mind is gonna think that like how they feel and think is just correct most of the time so it's just sad that that person is like oh yeah wow totes are some some places is way worse my sister went to a university and she's now an 89k in debt school here in the states is a joke it really is I'm upset that I'm probably going to graduate. I think I'm going to graduate with about 30K in debt. And I'm upset about that. And the fact that most people are saying that's honestly not that much. It makes me really upset. <laughs> like, bro, $30,000 is like, that's a good chunk of money. That's a down payment on a home. And what do I get for it? Probably not much. Um... <laughs> arson buddy has shown uh toadster you haven't found your tribe yet uh gotta give it time yeah i feel like i've never had a tribe like a good tribe that i actually felt like had good intentions like i've, I've definitely i've been around a lot of people in like high school and school where i feel like i was just friends with them just so i could survive like it's as simple as that like i feel like it was people i was friends with because it was easier to be friends with them than to not be and then be outcasted. You know what I mean? So I never felt like I actually genuinely had friends. I mean, there are like, I'm definitely someone who's like a bestie type of person. Like I'll have like one or two, like I'll have like one, that one friend. Like I always want just that one friend that like I can trust on no matter what, like tell everything to. And I've had those before, but then they always leave just because life, you know? So, like, it's not bad, but it's just, like, I don't know. I've never had a tribe, let alone, like, someone who was actually consistently in my life who I could, like, trust so much, you know? But, like, it's really, it's very rare to find, like, a best friend. But I feel like it's not too hard to find, a like, a tribe, as you're saying, Toadster. But I feel like I've never found a tribe, I guess. And unless it's online like now I feel like I have a tribe but it's online you know and like nothing bad about it it's just it's hard because you know I don't want people I don't want my family to worry about me but I'm like this is the best thing for me relax you know <laughs> but like maybe I do need to balance my time better you know um wow wow that's wild silent 
Um, Toad, 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 Geo's chanting Toad. <laughs> um, any homework to do? Oh, any homework to do with it? Man, I have a lot of homework, Dan. I'm not even looking at it. I'm not, this is so bad. This is my last week of classes. My grades are fine. I'm so checked out. And I'm just, at this point, I'm like, I'm looking at it tomorrow and I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm either going to look at it tonight or I'm looking at it tomorrow and I'm just doing it all tomorrow. That's a terrible strat to have, but I'm just, I'm so checked out. I need, I need my week off tomorrow or week off starting on Monday. Um, so I chill with you. Super cool. Oh, thanks, Silent. You too. Geo, go to freaking bed. What toaster is that, bro? Sounds like me. Aww. Odie. Geo, you, Geo, you better take a nap or something. Saber, I do have friends. I just can't hang out with the ones from school because we don't have the same interests anymore. That's the thing, too. Yeah, a lot of my interests have changed. One friend has gotten to the point where I find them annoying to be around. <laughs> Saber, you literally sound like me. I feel like I feel so bad because I'm like all the friends I have that I used to be close with. Like, they're just annoying to be around. Like, I just I can't handle it. It's just, it's, it's hard when you kind of fall out and don't have as many of the same interests. So I hear the reason this community exists. I only checked the stream out recently because it was recommended and I stayed because of the vibe of the stream. You're so welcome. Aw, thank you, Snorgar. Thank you for being here. Aw, Blinter. I experienced the same even for people who have the same chronic illness as me. No. Toadster, say, yeah, to be honest, it's not much, but yeah, it's so nuts in my mind. I'm so glad I was stupid and went to military and got my school paid for, but I feel so bad for people who haven't went through military for their schooling. Yeah, it is mind-blowing. Like, honestly, with my debt, I think, um, I think after school, it's going to cost me about $300 a month, which I think is fine, and I'm a saver. Like, I've been paying towards my debt. I've, I, don't, I think I've paid close to about three or four k off of my loans already so like i'm working on it but i need to work quicker at least streaming helps with your debt well streaming helps keep me alive and living and uh, keeping a roof over my head okay <laughs> so thank you um yeah i should i should actually i should i should force myself one day or maybe like next month i'll be like yo aubrey all the money you make for streaming instead of going to income based thing because like i have savings like i could just take from my savings and then when i do that i get really stingy so like i've been spending a lot more and i shouldn't so maybe like next month i'll just be like any money made from streaming goes into whatever debt you know coco with a tribe you need a totem and that's much work <laughs> yeah that's true honestly <laughs> Toaster, yeah, for sure. And that doesn't mean it's less real or less intimate or more fake than IRL tribe friendship. Online friends can be true friends. Right, exactly. I think the the hard part for me, Toaster, is that I feel that way, but most people outside who are looking in don't feel that way. And that wouldn't bother me at all. But the fact that my family or some of the people who are outside looking in and feel like, you know, like online friends aren't can't like are different or like they can't be true friends because like how can you be true friends if you don't see each other like I hear those sorts of comments from my family so it's just hard because I'm around my family often so I want I want them to just fudging understand that's it that's all I want I just want them to understand it but I don't think they do so it's just it's just hard because I don't want them to worry but then I also don't want them to like like I don't want you guys to worry I don't want anyone to worry about me because I'm like I honestly feel great i really do like i've i've been through some sad down times and i'm telling you right now like this is so far from like feeling that way whatsoever like you know i still have days or whatever like who doesn't have days but like in my life right now like i almost feel like as most confident as i've like ever felt because i made changes recently kind of recent i guess where it was like 
I got rid of all this stuff that was holding me down and holding me back from doing other things I wanted to do. And now that I have the freedom to kind of do it, I'm like, this is so incredible. You know, like, it's just so, it's so nice. So I don't want people to, I don't know, be worried. Like, <laughs> like there's nothing to worry about. But I, it's also like, I just want to, I just want to like reassure, but it's so hard to reassure when they don't understand, I guess. Uh, what do you say? Yes. Uh, Aubrey and voice, voice of the rings are my two favorite entertainment channels for Lotro. Man, I got to get my life together on the videos. I feel like a lot of Lotro streamers have fallen off of videos and I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them, but I feel like there's, there's some that haven't even posted in so long. So I want to make sure that you guys can still get stuff. You know what I mean? Like you guys can still get like help and guidance and, you know, excited to play the games because sometimes man like sometimes in low troll i'll hit those points where i'm like rethinking my whole life like man i don't want to play this game i'm over it and then i watch like certain videos where i'm like dang like i do love low troll you know <laughs> like so i want to i want to keep it alive you know <laughs> i want to help i want to do my due diligence um goosey said being stuck uh sucked away by family aggro so i'm gonna log for now bye oh have fun goose um oh silent where did you attend i go to purdue global um uh, by the way did you see my message on discord oh i don't know if i did i'm sorry i haven't checked my discord in a minute i only i've, I've really only checked one message group on discord lately because um there's just been a lot going on right now with someone so um coco you said usually it happens when uh, some people begin having kids some only yeah some will only speak and be interested in everything kid related and, and will totally drop whatever else in, in the world. Yes, Coco, exactly. That's why my mom is not really a big person when it comes to kids. My mom doesn't like kids, believe it or not. I was, uh, let's put it like this. Um, I was not planned <laughs> and I was not exactly a welcome joy to have <laughs> until I was born anyway, you know. Um, but um, yeah, my mom does not like kids at all. So she does not hang around people like that. And I think I'm kind of upset because I am in that point now where some people I know are having kids and they all talk about their kids and I'm not interested in that. I don't like kids myself, really. I don't like being around kids. I don't want to talk about kids. I don't even want to hear about people complaining about, oh my gosh, like I have all this stuff to do with my kid and stuff. Like I'm just like, mm, that sucks. What can I do? Um, <laughs> so yeah, I kind of feel that. I, I guess I'm a little bummed because I do feel like I'm getting to the, like my best friend right now who um, who I had in high school, she moved away to Kentucky because she went to school in Kentucky and she met her fiance there. Her fiance and her, they're, um, they both agreed because they, they literally got engaged her freshman year in college. And um, I told my, my best friend, I was like, listen, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I think you're rushing into this. I really don't want you to like, get married and then feel like you missed out on so much you know and my freaking bestie bro she literally sat me down and she's like girl you think i'm gonna get married in college <laughs> i was like <laughs> like what and then she was like yeah no like we're engaged but we both agreed that we're not even gonna get married until after college well she's been graduated he he graduated before her i think and she's been graduated for almost close to a year and they're still not married and like they're kind of like yeah we'll do it when we do it and i'm like <laughs> like i'm just so happy for her you know <laughs> because i get i get worried when people make like these big life decisions and stuff because i do i do i don't want like you know people to feel like they're missing out on things but when my bestie did get engaged i was so concerned because i was like <sighs> man like <laughs> i don't think we can hang out as much you know <laughs> like she's gonna she's gonna start talking about her fiance all the time and they're probably gonna think about having kids and it's gonna be all about the wedding and nope totally not not the case i finally met her fiance actually um last year finally and he like he's cool as heck but she doesn't even like you know talk about him like that much like of course like i'll ask about him and she'll like you know mention things but it's not like my fiance is my everything, you know? So I just wish that there were more people like that, I guess, where like they have themselves and they have their own things that they love to talk about, you know? Um, yeah. 
congrats on 3.05k sub. Thank you, Odie. <laughs> yeah, 3k sub, crazy. I can't believe it that we're almost at 5,000 followers slash subs. 5,000 weirdos, guys. Just clap that up. Clap that up. 5,000 weirdos. Good old fuzzy toes. <laughs> at least... Wait, you have at least a 12-hour tattoo session on Friday, Geo Geo. Get sleep. Oh. That watermelon tastes bad. I think it sat out too long. Um Yeah, one day you will stop caring. That's what other people think. I think I'm slowly, I'm very slowly starting to just make my way there at this point. I, I do care a lot about what my family thinks. And that, that's always been something I've been trying to get over, but. Oh, God. I'm trying to eat it because it's healthy. But, like, it actually just tastes like leaves. It doesn't taste right. Let me try another piece. Okay, that tastes fine. Maybe it's just that one piece of watermelon. Like, bro. Garth, you said I'm like the last thing from a financial planner. But if the interest on your student loan is more than whatever you're saving for retire, you might want to pay off the debt first. You're a long way from retirement. Yeah, I don't contribute to retirement anymore. I just wanted to, um, which is so sad to say. Um, yeah, I just wanted to at least get like a basic bearing of retirement. The interest on my student loan debt is actually less than what I'm getting from retirement. So it's actually more... It's actually it's actually a lot better for me to contribute to my retirement than pay off my loan quickly. Um, actually, the highest interest loan I have right now, I just took out. And it's for 5.5%. But my retirement, I've been getting back like, I think of like six or seven average. So yeah. Yeah, but you right, you Garther. I do. But either way, I'm I am under I am living under the philosophy. Um, or philosophy going forward that like I don't want to have any debt I never did but now I feel like I'm getting too comfortable with debt so I'm ready to um start paying it off <laughs> that's like like as soon as I graduate I'm going hella in that debt that's the next big thing like I wanted to pay off my car before I had to start paying off on my debt for school and I I think I will technically accomplish that. I will, I think it'll be like right after the other. Like as soon as I pay off my car, probably next year because of these stupid wisdom teeth. Um, as soon as I pay off my car, I'll then have to start paying on my student loan. So I kind of wanted it to work like that. And I hope that my car will last long enough that I can pay off my student loans <laughs> before needing another car to save for. But we'll see. Hey, Bay man, how's it going? <laughs> Says so you said my dad drives me crazy when he says internet friends can't be real friends. Forgive me for that. That's crap. Yes, internet friends can be the best as one. Exactly, exactly, bro. Wait, you'll Jedi my trick. Oh, good old fuzzy toes. Why can't you say that out loud? We're here. Need to upload so much, <laughs> bro. Flinder, me too. My VODs channel died. I did so good with keeping up with it. VODs, shorts, videos, pff, routines. I had schedules. I was uploading a short every single day. Mid March, I said, eh, I won't upload a day. Yeah, now I haven't uploaded a short ever. <laughs> yeah, my VODs. I don't really edit my VODs too much. It literally takes me like five minutes. But I just ha I haven't been uploading them either. I don't want to stop. I'm having fun in another game than in Lotro right now, which caused it in the first place. Oh, really? Hey, MJ, dog. How you doing? MJ. I turned off 99% of my Discord notifications. Way too many. Oh, my gosh. I need to, I need to do that. I just stopped checking Discord lately because it, it overwhelms me. I have I always have like 500 plus notifications just on standby. I'm like, please stop. 
Uh, Valkyria, yes, my best friend from high school, all she talked about from last time I saw her was strollers and different brands. I was like, I do not care whatsoever. No, I don't want to hear her complaining either. She put herself in this place. You shut it, Nami. You shut it, Nami. Now she has like four kids. I just feel like she kind of ruined her life because it was not at all what she talked about when we hung out. Yeah. Aw. Hey, Gary. Gary says hello, weirdos and weirdettes. Uh, Blender is lurking. Let's go. I, too, live off of velocity. Live fast. I love you, Sky, for that. <laughs> you do sleep, are not? Everybody asks me if I sleep. Yes, I sleep. I actually slept for, like, eight hours, guys. I got a lot of sleep. You probably shouldn't eat it then. Yeah, you're right. Your face when you ate that watermelon, I would not touch that with a five foot pole. <laughs> Guys, I'm like trying to eat it because I'm like, oh, but it literally, it almost tastes like, it does taste, it tastes like leaves. <laughs> like I almost wonder if they put some sort of chemical in it or it was like really next to some leaves and they, I don't know. I don't know. It just smells like dirt. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it smells like. <laughs> and it kind of tastes like it too. Uh, Sky, you said, um, oh, it's Slayer Saturday. I see Blender. Yeah, yeah. Sky, I have six figure income, but six figure student loan debt. Everything is about lifestyle inflation. Exactly. Make sure your lifestyle is not way too expensive over your bills. Yeah. I haven't been, I've been doing a bad job of saving. Um, so that's on me. It really has been. I've been having way too many coffees. Um, and I've been eating a lot of food lately, like eating out. Um, yeah, it really is all lifestyle inflation because I looked at my credit card in February and I have a credit card to pay for everything, like bills, everything. Yeah. February, bro, your girl spent $300. Let me remind you, internet is literally half of that bill. And then I have pet insurance for Muriel. Um, what else do I have? Pet insurance for Muriel. Oh, Brenner's insurance, which is like, I think like 60 bucks between the two. And what other bill do I have to pay? What's my other bill? I have another bill. Oh, my car payment. I'm sorry. My car payment. Okay. It, it must have been 400. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I pay for my car, I pay for my internet, I pay for the essentials. Those are like my essential, essential bills each month. And I spent $400 total, which meant that I literally like spent, spent like money wise. I think it was like $80 for the month. So I'm like, dang. And then when I saw how much I brought in, I was like, look at how much I saved. I literally saved like about 50% of my income because I didn't spend anything really in February. It was great. And then, um, March, oh my God, March, it was like, I think my spending was close to like $800. It was ridiculous. And like, those are bills and stuff, of course, but my spending, I think was like 45% of my income or whatever. Like it was, it was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, what was I doing? And April's not looking too hot either, but yeah. Then you said, well, I wish, I wish my cc bill would be under 500 i'm okay so like i am very i'm very lucky and i'm very thankful because i don't pay rent where i'm living my granny lets me live rent free the condition has always been as long as i'm in school she will not have me pay rent um so that's part of why part of the reason why i'm in school no i'm kidding <laughs> but no um yeah that was that was just always how she did it she she covered she she almost feels bad, which is so crazy because she covered for my mom and for my uncle, she covered and paid for all of their tuition and stuff. Um, so she really wants to do the same for me. So this is like her way, I guess, of feeling like she she can. But it's just crazy because I'm like, dang, like <laughs> but everything's way more expensive now too. So so she she has me live here. I don't pay any utilities. The only reason why I pay internet is because you guys hit streaming. Um, otherwise, she would pay it, but I pay for like the top tier internet, which, you know, she would not need whatsoever. So 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm very, I'm very fortunate there. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I pay for, I pay for groceries occasionally. Um, I used to pay for my own here for a while, but then when I left my one job, um, my granny pays majority of like groceries and stuff and she'll make dinners and stuff too. So, um, I'm just very, I'm very fortunate. So that's a lot of it. Um, but yeah, the only, only expenses I have are just internet and car payment and my car payment is so small. It's so small. I got my car in 2019. It was used, but it costs like, I think my car is like 12 K. Um, but yeah, my car payment is only like 200, 200 or like $20 a month. And then the internet bill is like, uh, 120 now I lowered it. So it should be 120 now. Um, yeah, that's wild. And then Muriel, Muriel's expensive. <laughs> I spoil my cat more than me on on good months. <laughs> so I'm very fortunate. I definitely don't have many expenses whatsoever right now. But when I was living with my ex, um, even then, my living expenses with rent and everything, it was like seven hundred dollars, and I was making like. I always made sure that I made enough that it would that living was only 30% of my income. So I made, I, I, I was, I was fine. Um, watermelon is life. You say sky. Yeah. Sergeant. Hey, my twin brother loves watermelon. I can't stand it. Do I love watermelon too, but this watermelon is, is bad. It says the best buy date. Like the, it says like best buy, which best buy is like when it's the freshest. Okay. It's not the expiration date. Let's say that. At least that's how I was taught. The best buy date is April 23rd anyway, so like it should still taste okay, but I'm throwing that out. Silently said mine is two grand because my dumb self has a too big of a heart. It's not a pal in the back. It's a legit problem. Aw. Wow, that's wild. That's wild, man. Yeah, I used to make... Back when I was full-time, I probably made... Like, I've, I've always been low-income. Like... But back when I was full time and living with my ex, I think I made about like 2K a month, which is not much because the rent alone, like if I lived on my own, rent would have been like 50% of my income, which is crazy. But when you live with someone else, it really helped. I was like, it was amazing. Um, but yeah, but now that now that a lot of my income so up in the air lately, like, you know, Streaming's good, but like it's hard because it's not like I, I get the same amount every month or whatever. You know, like things change. And then same thing with my frosting job I have too. It's um like the hours differ, but the frosting job I have, guy, oh my golly. I did the calculations. I legit after tax, I make less than the national minimum wage. <laughs> Because I take I take a lot of stuff like I take a lot out of taxes, I take a lot out of taxes. I I I I prefer almost having big tax returns because with big tax returns, it's a lot easier for me to be like, oh okay, let me like pay something off. But it hurts in the meantime <laughs> because your girl is making less than a minimum wage after taxes oh my god but anyway finance stuff i really like talking about finance stuff it's a lot of fun um just to learn like how different everybody's like how different everybody's like philosophy is when it comes to spending and saving and stuff like my savings been so bad and my spending's been real bad but yeah anyway i finally booted up the game um i will finally play <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, um, I have to BRB real quick because I have to throw out this watermelon that tastes like dirt and I have to start my laundry. Um, so I'll let you say my income is, um, 1,100 with the student loans now, 400 to my family, 217 a month for a bank loan. Y'all yeah, be surprised my hair, my hair left in nine years. Oh my golly. Holy crap, man. The student loan, wow. Dang, that's tough, Silent. Yeah, I mean, 
it's tough too because of limiting factors as well so that's hard i don't know what to say to that oh yeah let me fix this too but long story short after all these conversations we literally talked for like two hours i'm sorry i'm not actually i'm not gonna apologize i'm not gonna apologize guys okay thank you for being here i appreciate the support <laughs> you're still in game sis so heck yeah but 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 um yeah just moral of the story you all are awesome you all are very important don't compare yourself to others which i know is way easier said than done um take care of yourselves sleep is important geo which i know is ironic me saying that um yeah and just you all are fudging awesome and i really appreciate all the support that you guys have like truly like it means a lot that you guys are just chatting with me here and it just it's really nice because it almost reassures that like you know other people are you know other people in the world are going through and doing their own things and you know we don't know what anyone's going through at all times you know only you know like what you what you have to deal with and how you feel about it so it's kind of nice to relate you know <laughs> to some of you guys when it comes to some some of the stuff like the online friend stuff so um just thank you for making me not feel totally alone <laughs> in this world so i appreciate it but you did apologize so we went gadget listen <laughs> we don't talk about that <laughs> danny said and get a diet coke and chipotle with a caramel ribbon crunch oh my god dan i actually that actually like warms my heart because you actually know my order i can't believe it i have worked with this client okay i've worked with this one client who will get me a caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino and every single time i get there he's like what do you order he never remembers my order and then he finally remembers but he doesn't know how like how the words go or whatever so the fact that i've only said it probably like once or twice on stream means a lot dan thanks <laughs> you know my whole order and my i'm like that i'm that transparent of an open book i guess um student loan is 35k Whew. thankfully you have student aid yeah that's good life lesson to future people be smart be, yeah for sure so say you're dealing with orange halo mobs but yeah <laughs> okay i am going to go throw out my watermelon do my laundry real quick and then we can actually take part and partake in the anniversary event i know you guys have literally sat here and listened to me ramble for like two hours under the lecture category but <laughs> we'll actually take part in the anniversary event until then you guys want to watch some uh people get whacked what I shouldn't have said that. I'm leaving. Goodbye. That was actually cringe.
I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes, Gadget. I realized after I had said the term that I said how that could have been taken. Okay. Let's play Lotro. <laughs> Hi, Muriel. Muriel. What, you want... You wanna hang out? Wanna hang out? Yeah. No, she doesn't want to hang out. But she wants to yell at us. Typical cat. My hair fell out. Um, of the ponytail, I should say. Dan, I remember because you told us how it was made and how little coffee is in it and how much whipped cream in it. That's true. I did go to that much extent, extensive detail. That is true. I, um, you know, it's just my barista days, you know? Was the whacked comet something that was removed and you said it anyways? <laughs> no, I just, I, I didn't know what I meant to say, okay? Like, I, I'm a mess. Forgive me. All right, let's, uh, let's work on this because I am not good at this event. It's kind of funny. Just kind of lurking and playing through anniversary stuff. I know. Kiki, I need to do that. I need to get through the anniversary stuff. I've been literally on my soapbox for two hours. I have so much to accomplish today. So little time. Oh, I didn't even finish participating in anniversary activity. Oh. Come and stay From yesterday. A moment, That's a big sad face. That's a big, big sad face. That's a bad sad face. Oh, I get it now. Time to do time for a duo. <laughs> Sorry. Muriel! No! No! No. My cat's hyper and she's trying to chew my my <laughs> my shoulder like heat warmer cord. I'm like out of all the cords she could have. Probably the worst one. Okay, I'm doing the things. I'm gaming. I'm doing what I set out my mind to do today for stream. Look at me go. I'm so proud. All right. Um, I won't lie though. I have not eaten today besides those little crappy watermelon bites, and I think I had like one watermelon. So I'm eating some cheese sticks. I'm trying to be healthy. I'm trying to eat more that's not just sugar. I do have pop tarts though. Which is sugar, but besides that. Muriel, no. Look at this troublemaker. Look at her. Muriel, hey. Hey. Aw, I think she purr in. Hi, Miami. Aw, she be a good kitty. She let me pet her. Muriel likes her ears. Her ears were- Aw, she give me more kisses. Muriel! I was telling everybody you were being a meanie, and now you're being sweet. Look at her. She she knew she was in, in frame. And she was like, oh boy. Can't let these people- see me like this Kiki you're eating popcorn for breakfast slash lunch. oh golly honestly my, not much different I mean popcorn is one of the healthiest snacks you could have so hey she's smelling and licking my hands because of watermelon yeah probably <laughs> so only you said I love cats they love me and their dander hates me me too I'm actually allergic to cats, believe it or not. My whole family is. Yet, everyone but my mom owns a cat.
Absolutely no one has whacked me. I feel left out. Oh. Oh. Thank you to whoever whacked me. Oh. Just gonna run around the table. Ain't nobody hitting me now. I'm so concentrated, I'm so sorry. I did it! Oh, I just have to run to him? Silent, you said I'm more of a dog person, but sweet kitties are awesome. I am more of a dog person myself, actually, but when I got my cat, when I got her, it was free to own her, like, where I was living. They didn't charge me a cat fee. They didn't charge me pet rent monthly none of it so and then when i got muriel i won't lie i went to the humane shelter you know um the humane society shelter and um i was looking at only two cats and they were the ones that had been there the longest and they were waiving their adoption fees because they had been there so long and they just wanted the cats to get a home and muriel was one of those cats so would you do something for me basically do for you? if muriel wasn't free she probably wouldn't be in my life <laughs> which sounds so messed up but i mean like if at the end of the day like i mean i love you muriel but like i was a broke cat uh i was a broke college girl so if I was gonna have a cat, I was gonna be, uh, you know, you know, it was gonna be cheap. <laughs> evil Aubrey? What? What do you mean? I get Muriel home. How is that evil? A cat fee? Yeah, Valkyria. So, most places, at least in the States, I feel, maybe it's just where I live, but most places you have to pay a cat fee. Or like some sort of a pet deposit which is for um it's basically just to in case your pet ends up like damaging or destroying something you can take from like the runner people landlords whoever they can take from that um to pay for it well met so you know but, um, yeah, and then there's the monthly pet rent, too, that you pay for even having a pet, which is wild to me, but whatever. <laughs> Hi, I know, JK, just JK. Silently, so we lost our dog almost two weeks ago. It's really nice seeing Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Man, that was, like... That was something that was so hard for me personally to get through was when my family dog passed. She passed the day before I left for TwitchCon. I was so devastated. And then it was like, then I had to go to uh, hop on a plane and have fun at TwitchCon. And I was so upset. But honestly, I think that was the best way for everything to happen now that I look at it. Because if my dog would have passed when I was on vacation, I would have been so upset. What seven quests can I do quick? Mm. Um, well, if it's nighttime, uh, which is not right now, but if it were nighttime, you could do the fireworks quest. That one's uh, pretty quick. Um, do the um, do the beer the beer brawl that I just did, the beer fighting tussle thing. Um, do uh, the festival instance, which I'm actually going to do. Before I forget, that one should count. Shower time, have fun. Am I okay? Well, that was that sounds good. Uh oh, and do the racetrack, the 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 horse races. Hi, that should. Um, I don't think there's quite seven, but that should be enough. For or that's all I can think of right now. Um. 
that sounds good. The first one, but not the last pet fee. But when I moved into my first apartment, it stank a cat pee. <laughs> but it was my sister's friend who had it before me. She reassured me that it won't stink with the furniture in, and it didn't. Oh my golly. It won't stink with the furniture in? What kind of a freaking comment is that? That's such a lie. That's not how that works. There's a child. Oh my god, I didn't even finish the optional token yesterday. Man, I must have been tired last night. I didn't even finish the optional quest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it wasn't it was insane but me and my mother cleaned it really well before moving yeah i'm glad dude because some of that scent you can't you can't like pick up it's it's tough man you can't get rid of it so i'm glad you guys cleaned it as well as you could that's insanity I have 48 anniversary tokens. Wow. That's not bad. I have so much I need to pay for, though, on the anniversary. It's pretty cringe. Pengal! La Pengal. This guy has a great little story, but I can't remember it. I feel like he's a really cool, really cool dude who sends me on some really cool quests, but I can't even remember it. Big sad face, big sad face. Man, I want another cheese stick. I have one here, but I'm hoping to like save it. Oh, we have to do more skirmishes. That's right. I forgot about that. That's how we're going to complete year four. Brigand. You said yesterday I was a bit sad because one of my chemistry teachers died. Aww. And his husband. Wait, and his husband? Oh, and his husband was my teacher. Wow. Aww. I'm sorry to hear about that. I feel like all of the teachers I thoroughly enjoyed and I felt like were great at their jobs, they all passed away so suddenly. It's just so sad. It sucks when a teacher perishes, because it's like, oh, this person has taught me so much, and now they're, they're just away. I'm so sad. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, orcs. Yeah, we're just going to aggro everything, because this is me talking. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Let's go! I have to say, it's absolutely breathtaking up here. My nose. No, get over here. You stop that. 
That's my first time ever having one firework display get lit. So sad. Right, Gandalf, we're here. Hello. Oh, Gandalf. Almost left without the firework. Yeah. yeah, so that does give you one anniversary festival activity as well, Hi. So I think that that's a quick one to do the um, instance. I totally forgot about that quest too. Oh, I'm sorry, like, I have, like, phlegm or something in my throat. Ugh. Allergies. This is what happens when you own a cat. Ideal firework locations. Hmm. That one's a quick quest you could do too, high. The ideal sparking an interest one. No, 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 no! That was mine! That was my ideal location, not yours. Dang it. Big sad face, big sad face. Uh, where's another location? Help! Give me an ideal location, please. I never noticed this little house over here. I know it's blocked off, but like, that's kind of cute with that roof. Never seen a house like that in Brie before. Um, okay, Prancing Pony, you got some ideal, uh... Ideal locations, or, uh... Sometimes there's one back here, but it doesn't look like it. Help! I need some- Oh, the envelopes quest, too! Yeah, so you should have enough there between the envelope quest, this ideal locations one for fireworks, um, the beer brawling thing, uh, the race- the- the, the horse races, and if you can do the firework one, Uh, at night in Brie, anyway. That's a good one, too. I think that should be seven. That might have been six. Big yikes, big yikes. Man, I'm not having any some, uh, some sort of luck over here. Any sort of luck. There's just so many people on. Wait! I know you. I know you. Must be AFK. AFK. Are there any envelopes? Jeez, is everybody in Bree doing some stuff, man? Oh. Hey. I know you. I was gonna wave again. It's okay. Um. <laughs> Ideal location for fireworks. Right next to a shop with a tent that could easily catch fire. Okay. That makes sense. Wait, Bor Bor! Oh, it's on Bor Bor. <laughs> It says Borbot. Oops. Brewster! Hey! How you doing? Welcome in, Brewster. Oh, hey. It says, oh, there's an envelope. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, thank you. I didn't even know about that. Oh, come on. Bill Fernie's house. 
Eh. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. It's not working. Get up there! There we go. Can't believe Bill Fernie's places like that. What's that quest with the fireworks? There's one um, in Bree. It's at night. It's only at night, but the one where you have to follow the announcer and you have to light 10 fireworks correctly. <laughs> yep, anniversary stuff, Brewster. Anniversary stuff. Oh, someone got that location. Yep, we are pretty much trying to... Wait, I know this person too. I don't know who Pizza Champ is, but I'll wave to them. Hurrah. Oh, did we need the envelope? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't need the envelope. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> As like two just spawn right here. <laughs> That's so funny. Whoops, didn't mean to take it from him. Big yikes, big yikes. I didn't mean to make him cry. <laughs> I feel bad now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're doing some anniversary stuff. <laughs> Sally, are you are you pizza champ? Sally, I was like, where's Sally? I saw Lee, but I didn't see I didn't see you, Sally, unless you're a pizza champ. You're not. Aw. Aw, are you playing though? Oh, that person is already working on it. I'm not gonna steal that from them. I'm at a concert in the Shire. Aw! Waverly! Aw, I wanna go to a concert in the Shire. I hope it's fun. Come if you want. Uh, I can't because I'm behind on my anniversary. So I talked too long during the stream today. You'll be going there, Sissa. Heck yeah. Y'all enjoy. Yeah, I have a lot to do. I, I, I need to get through. I need to actually finish up these skirmishes like real quick. Because year four, I'm, I literally... Yeah, I only have one more skirmish. Wow, okay. That's a good place to leave off then from yesterday. Um, okay, I am- I'm- I'm a real struggle bussing right now. For our ideal locations for the fireworks. Mmm. Do you ever make music, you say, Tim? No. Not in the game, I don't- or like, even IRL? Nah. I mean, I used to do vocal lessons IRL, but it's been a long time since that happened. Here we go. But yeah, not in- not in game. I- I need to, um, schedule time with TD, because TD's been very kind and has offered to, like, make videos for me to, like, help me with learning how to play instruments and stuff in the game, so... Oh, that person's got it, okay. And everybody's looking for envelopes. So, uh, I need to take TD up on some music lessons in-game. Very helpful. Not enough. <sighs> oh, bind soon. Oh. No, nope, I don't want that. I don't want to sell that. Sell that, sell that. Honestly, a strat here is just to collect as many envelopes as possible when you have the quest active. And then just like store them in your inventory for when you pick up the quest next. <laughs> See if you'll get lucky or not. There we go. See, now I have two envelopes. It might be 
Might be worth something. Yeah, shout out to Sally. Thank you, Bayman, for that. Sally's absolutely awesome. She's so freaking nice. She's like a breath of fresh air. Oh, wait, I actually have to turn that in over there. And she she plays Lotro, so she's cool. <laughs> she's cool by just default because she plays Lotro. How can I that's, be how, that's how this works. So yeah, follow Sally. Bruce, so what are you trying to do at the fest? Cosmetics or just doing questing? Um, I'm trying, honestly, Brewster, the big overall goal is I would like to do every single portion of the scavenger hunt. Um, but right now, I'm honestly just trying to get my anniversary, like, dailies done. Um, the reason why I want to get all of this is, yeah, because I, I, I have, I want to save as oh, many tokens guy. as possible. Um, because... I don't know. I guess I do want the cosmetics. <laughs> I mean, I did buy this horse for Mithril, and I love it. But yeah, I, I really, really want to get, like, I want to get the keg. I want to get the, be the beer. Um, like, the beer, like, the bar area. I want to get, um all the cosmetic pets like any event or festival there is i always try to get all the cosmetic pets and i try to get all of the mounts available so trying to get them all i'm so far behind already i think i've with my hard owned anniversary tokens i think i've only gotten the green dragon mount and that's it um I did get, with the festivity tokens with the instances, I did have those already maxed from the last festival from spring. So I did actually end up getting, um... I did get, like, the hamster and the tricolor corgi already. But now I'm just trying to get my festivity tokens back up to max. So that for midsummer I can just get those instance uh, coins right off the bat. Yeah, I'm only a 10, a 40. Ugh. Big sad face, big sad face. Mm. Hi, so where do you get the bar area? It's in the- it's at the boar fountain if you go to the- If you go to the- I don't know if it's a master of games vendor. It's one of those vendors that's right around the boar fountain. In the tent. What's your strat? Um, do a lot on one tune or do daily on many? I don't do- it's so funny. On my main account, I would totally would use alts all the time. I don't do alts on on this account, so no. I just I just do honestly for anniversary. This is how I've always put it personally. For the anniversary event, I only would do it on characters that are level 100 and above, just because these scavenger hunts don't seem really like friendly in terms of like I guess getting through them. And could I take a moment of your time? <laughs> I have to do a year three scavenger hunt card, bro. Don't do that to me. Uh, I just need to visit High King's Crossing, so that's easy. Um, but yeah, I, I, I anyone who's not level 100 and above, I wouldn't even waste your time on this event. Because I feel like a lot of getting the deed done and all that, you have to do with the really long list. And the long list is open to people who have much more extended outwards, not just area door, I guess. So I just do one character personally, but um, I don't know why anyone would do alts in this event because this event, it takes me, I figure it's probably, I'm not even going to get all of the scavenger hunt done personally. So it takes me a while, but I don't know. Maybe other people have a different strat. I don't have a good strat here at all. I, I haven't actually successfully even completed this event ever, so... But I'm trying this year. I'm trying. Um, let me go Hello to... There. Let me go to Oat Barton, because I need to... I do need to go to High King's Crossing, for whatever reason. I just have, like... <laughs> I don't know why I have this quest, but I'll take the three tokens just for visiting High King's Crossing. Thanks. You just bought the Holly Moat? You're so... Heck yeah! I said, maybe if you only do the quest you've told me to complete, it's fast so you can get the figment reward. Oh, good day. That's true, the figgy reward. Yeah, if you only do the seven dailies. Yeah, maybe that is the case. I just feel it, it takes so long to get through the seven dailies. Like, it's hard. 
a tough it's it's a tough festival guys it's a tough fest i can't sugarcoat it i've absolutely hated this festival this is actually or it's not a fest it's an event i'm sorry i just i absolutely dislike this is my least liked event of the entire year honestly hob not hob or whatever that is way more enjoyable than this because the stinking rewards are just too good, man. They're just too good. All right, I have to visit the top. <laughs> Wild. All right, let's go back to the party tree. It is how people do ults. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the figments, it would be nice. It's so sad. I'm honestly so sad to be doing all these festivals and stuff and not have alts. I just don't have ults on I'm gonna plan to keep, so I don't think there's no point on bo bothering with working on these, you know? With working on the quests on ults, I'm not gonna bother to keep, like, meh. But the figments would make it worth it, actually. I want the howl emote. How'd you get the howl emote, Sally? Okay. I'm trying to make sure I keep my eye on my phone because I have peeps coming over and I just want to. I mean, it's in a couple hours, but I just want to make sure that they're not confused. Not confusion. They only get one anniversary token. Wow. That was a ripoff. Yeah, I need a year four card. All right, well, I'm just gonna sit here actually because I only have one more skirmish to do. Oh, not that. I only have one more skirmish to do and uh, I'm gonna complete it and then have to turn all this stuff in. Offensive. The bellies of Dol Gorda oh, I have Gorda played this one. Nearly impenetrable. I don't and like this one. The enemy soldiers defend within. The ground roll emote is on. I know, Brewster. I want one of those too. I need. I. I need way more emotes on this character. I ha I do have a. What's my call it? Here, I'm just gonna aggro everything. Yolo. When enemies want to put up a shield like that, I just get angry, and leave. That was fun. Yeah, I do have um, I do have some low troll points. You know, I could buy an emote. Well, no, I'm saving for shared storage. That's right. I'm trying to save for shared storage right now. So, never mind. Never mind. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is someone in here. There's one Drake. Come here, Drake. Get it together. Do the ground roll one. Do Brewster always uses that ground roll one and it cracks me up. I'll just be taking a picture and then all of a sudden I just see someone like flying over while rolling. It's hilarious. Um, hey, skirmish soldier is stuck. Hey, sir. You have to re-log in your sentinel, says, uh, why? Where's the... Skirmish soldier, uh... There it is. Oh, crap. I was like, where's the counterattack being launched? Right in front of my face, that's where. Welcome back, Silent.
I'm lagging. Dang, how many counterattacks y'all need? Jeez. A yell echoes from the south, all right? All right, where is this encounter? I'm gonna drink some uh, coffee. Oh man, my eye. I'm so tired, I guess. Bring it on, sir, bring it on. Ah, uh, to you too. Nice, easy. 52 marks and eight medallions. That's not too shabby. Okay, let's roll. Tired is not good, Mila. I know, Jarna. I'm realizing this. Oh! Yay, the gate has risen! Aggro everything. Challenge. That should be a channel point redemption! Guys, write that down right now. Be like, Aubrey needs to aggro everything around her for 30 seconds. <laughs> that would be hilarious. The lady is a respectful title, nothing more might have it. No, you're fine. It's just like how I always say ma'am. But like, I could see why people might think Milady is just like too much, but I, I, kn I knew what you meant. I knew I knew it was respectable. Thank you. Bruh, can my protector do some damage? I feel like I'm nice sometimes, right? It kind of, it does sound like it. Jana. Sneak, hey, how's it going? Are you working on the anniversary event, Sneak? I feel like I've seen you around lately. Logging back in, hoping chat connects. Oh. Where's my protector? She went AFK. Oh my golly. It's so dark. Someone please turn up the brightness. Lieutenant has joined the battle. Oh my. I am just shaking in my boots. Oh, there's yelling. Who's yelling in these parts? Waiting on your chat to come back. Aw, Sisa. Ooh. Noise. All right. Um, I always get lost here. There's a bridge over there, but where, how do I get over there? Like a stairwell up here. Oh, here it is. Welcome back, Geo. Please tell me you lurked to take a nap or something. I know you said you weren't going to, but just. Just tell me you fell asleep for five minutes or something. I'll feel better. <laughs> French toast. Do French toast sound bomb? Dude, my pro my protector keeps getting stuck. I'm just gonna continue on without her. Bring it on, sir. Bring it on.
I'm impressed you come that way. <laughs> so, da da da, it says Geo. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Says silent. Listen, I just. I just worry about you, Geo, okay? Okay? You need that sleep. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought my protector was like yelling and aggroing him. Like f from all the way back down at the stairs. It's gonna be like no way. Oof. I did it! I will only say the truth. I got zero hours of sleep and I'm in bed right now. Hey, at least you're in bed. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good job, Geo. What, Sally? Yo. <laughs> Yay! We're on year five you now. Me, won't you? We got a shield. That's cool. Five. Oh, a scrap piece of paper has a number five on it. Seems promising. All right. Could I take a moment Year four scavenger hunt. No, don't do that. To me. Now I have to complete skirmishes. Great. Okay, we have to do some more again, guys. Okay, just real quick. Just real quick. No, not reflections! No! 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 I'm so over these reflections! No! Reflections are the worst! Bro. I don't even know where any of these are! Bro, oh my golly. I'm not even gonna have like half of them. I guarantee you. Oh my god. Fudging fudge sticks. I have to go back to Baggin. Well, that's good. Bonfire Glade. I know where that's at. Rivendell. Ooh, maybe Mary's will be the easiest. I don't know where Eowyn is. No mains. I'm sure we'll find. Mary in the High Hall after battle. All right. This one might be easy. Buckleberry Fairy. I don't know who. Bodies of Water. <gasps> oh, that's kind of cute. Aww. Uh, wait, where am I carrying it? Oh, carry it to the ponies in Baggin? Oh, they're right over here. I see. <laughs> it's like, what? Man, your five looks kind of tough. The joys of rubber banding lag. Just got rubber banded 10 times on a horse to Gondam. Yep. Oh gosh, that lag's been so bad. I'm actually shocked how many people are working on this stinking anniversary event. I've been playing this game for 15 years. I totally know where all of those are. Well, that's good, Geo. I'm glad. I know where most of these are. I just need Lotro Wiki to help with some of these. There's so much to do. I have a lot to do in Rivendell. That's that's for sure. I hate reflections so much. Honestly, maybe the bodies of water one will be easiest. Forkel, Ford, Waterworks, Foundation of Stone, Miramir, Mir, I don't know. Nen Nenhethiel, I'm pretty sure I know. Yeah, that one- that one's the one by Rohan. That's it. Um, uh, the Ford. Nenharn? I would love to ride up to Nenharn. That actually sounds like a blast right now. Do you- you wanna stretch check me? Alright. Wait, I have to defeat foes in a Numinous. I should have done that when I- well, I should, uh, probably go back to Evendim then. Oh, good day. Time to go back to Obotten. <sighs> And go to a Numinous and go to um, uh, the lake. There's remembrances everywhere. Well, finding the remembrances. Lake Evendim. 
like that could be anywhere it says on the shores Pfft. brother die, that could it? actually be anywhere like we're talking like this huge massive lake being around the, on the shores like pff, where what buckleberry ferry is just south of the buckland bridge oh okay thank you silent i figured he had to be in early on i don't remember brandy hall at all i'm assuming that's in Bree or the shire bonfire glade is right outside of buckland rivendell Honestly, Mary Mary might be the easiest card here. Your five's a little tricky, I won't lie. Bucklin? Alright, Bucklin. Brandy Hall's in Bucklin. Okay, so we pretty much three things in Bucklin. Alright, I'm gonna um very quickly. Um ooh, remembrance, let's go. There's one. Oh, I see one way out in the distance, I think. I think that's one way out in the distance. I think that's one. Yeah, that is one. Wow, I can't believe I spotted that. I was like, huh? I don't see any going forward, though. I'm sure there are. I should probably just load your wiki. It'll be easier. Buckland next to the river. I got you, Brewster. Alright, I will stretch check in a second. Once I take the boat to Anuminous. Anuminous. Aubrey, I will lurk now, making food. Remember to die in the game. I will try not to die in the game. You're making food? What, wait, what kind of food, though? Can you share some real quick before you head off? To lurk. Alright, I'm gonna assume the rest of the remembrances are somewhere else, so... Like Evanim is so large. Well, we got three, honestly. I'm shocked we got three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By four Kel Ice Bay? Dude, that's large too. At least, like, Nenharn is pretty easy. It's not that big. The ford is quite long. Waterworks is just atrociously large. <laughs> what? Greetings. Oh wait, maybe I should take a horse to Anuminous actually. That'd be easier. There's none on the west bank or the island. Okay. All right, well that actually kind of helps. I do for you? <laughs> Chicken parmesan and mac and cheese. Dude, that sounds bomb. Geo, just make sure you share some with me, please and thank you. Quaz, hey! Today I see another streamer. He told about 14 years in the game, someone asked him how old are you? His answer, 19. Wait! Who? Who is he? I want to meet him. It's so nice to see youngins playing in uh, Lotro. I am a youngin, so when I say youngin, I'm including myself. <laughs> I include myself in the young and low troll category because I feel like we're we're like the um the outliers. Arbany, hey! Uh kind of trying to do the festival on two, three characters. It's tiresome. Even I do not aim to finish seven quests per day. Yeah. I'm honestly not even gonna be upset. I didn't get my seven done yesterday, but I had I had I was halfway. So alright, I have to stretch check for Geo. Oh my gosh, I just saw that all these got messed up when I pulled them. There we go. There they go!
No, you're not jumping on the desk. Can you hear her purr? It's like whenever I stretch check, she's like, oh, you're up. Hey, back up. Trying to chew on like hazardous cords. Ugh. There's a like, cat for all on me now. Eh. Yeah. This might look weird, I swear, but I'm just. I'm not like patting my boob, I swear. I'm just uh getting the freaking cat fur off. <laughs> okay. You could hear it, Gia. Let's go. <sighs> F3 said you'll. You will hate me for this, but I finally decide to change main from my mini. I watch the videos of you and Louie, and at the end, I go for Warden. Oh, okay. I see. I see F3, so you're just Team Louie. Okay, that's what you're saying. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I mean, Warden is all right. All right. I've had a, I've had a better um, relationship, we'll say, with Warden. But uh, Minnie's still the best, so you'll learn though. You'll learn. You'll learn F3. It's okay. <laughs> but no, I'm just glad that you're playing the game. Honestly, that's all. That's all that Louie and I want. You know. So, um, mm -mm -mm. Kiki, you and I are both youngins in the game. Heck yeah, youngins unite. We have a question to give you. What's the question? <laughs> How old was Obi Wan Kenobi when he became a Jedi Knight? Oh, fudge. <sighs> when he was a Jedi Knight? Brewster! Aw, thanks for the gift of the sneak! Let's go! Thank, thank you. Was he was Obi Wan nineteen when he became a Jedi Knight? I think he was nineteen. I remember reading something that said that he was actually kind of older to join the Jedi as well. Like he was a little bit out of that age range that they would typically do. So I'm saying nineteen. Kitty. Bayman heard it too. Aww. I'm glad you guys could hear her purr. About to change my main mini into RK. Arbany in the hole. Minis are where it's at though. Sound like even if you're padding it, it's hardly the worst thing on YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> True. The class irritates me so much lately. Mini? Why? Well, you did say a couple of reasons why. Like the other day. Yesterday, I think it was. He was 25. Wow, that is like, I was going to say that's old, but that's old for the Jedi. Like for him to be 25 when he was knighted, that's kind of wild. Obi-Wan's post to code Obi-Wan-K-O-B. <laughs> oh my God, that's actually cute. Um, After you say you guys are the best, always got your videos, our streams on... Um, you always got involved when playing or working. Also, don't worry, I keep my RK and Mini up to date. All right, yeah, just as long as you keep them up to date. I'll, I'll, then that's okay, that's okay. I accept that. But yeah, thank you, F3, for, you know, watching and being here. I appreciate it. Um. Huh. Sneak's excited. <laughs> thanks for the gift. It's, um, thanks. Thanks, even, LOL. <laughs> Silent, 19 or 20, you think, as well? Yeah. He was 25, wow. Arvini, you said my Bjorn, 50 levels lower than my mini, has bigger heels, twice as big. Yeah, okay, if you wanna talk about heels, yeah, minis are so outdated when it comes to the heels. Yeah, Bjornings have better heels, no doubt. I think Bjornings are one of the best healing classes. I think it's like RK and like Bjornings are like the top, which is crazy. 
Jedi Padawans usually get knighted in early to mid-twenties, really? Huh. I'm trying to eat my cheese stick and I'm failing. Hmm. Sneaky said Bergen Brawlers are top two for me. I do like a good brawler, man. I think Brawler's number three on my list and Burglar's number five on my list of classes. That I like. Kiki, did you notice that in World Chat they're saying it's Muddy Foot Day on Crick Hollow? Yeah, they're saying Happy Muddy Foot Day, Crick Hollow. I'm just gonna say. Did someone say foot? Oh, I said it. I didn't put it in. Hi. Oh no, it's a weird lady again. Anakin was 19 due to war time. I knew someone was 19, okay? Give me some cred, yeah? That was a good question. I don't remember. Yeah, do we get anything cool? I want to know. I want a foot housing item. What if... Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if Lotro redid the character customization where you could customize your feet? Only for hobbits, of course. But tell me it's a good idea without telling me it's a good idea. <laughs> Poppy said, I thought for sure River Hobbits would have customizable feet. Yeah, what the heck, Copy? What the? Now that you're saying it, I'm like, dang. I mean, they have nice trim feet, but like, what if I wanted my feet to be dirty? I don't know. <laughs> How you doing today, Copy? Brewster long toes. So I'm not going to lie, guys. Actual, like my IRL feet, quite long. Like I'm a size nine and a half. It's pretty long, but I have finger toes, guys. I actually have finger toes. I was talking to my granny about it the other day. I was like, you know, I was just thinking about it, and <laughs> someone in the world chat said something wild. Um, but I was talking to my granny about it. I was like, yo, granny, like, I got finger toes. Vigonia, I'm so sorry I mispronounced it. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. I hope you're having a good day. But, um, yeah, I was talking to my granny about it, about finger toes and how I have them. And she was like, oh, yeah, it's hereditary. I was like, great. So, uh, you know, I I'm down for long toes. I need some toe representation here. Brewster golem feet, heck yeah. What's the difference between Anakin and Ahsoka? What's, oh, the age difference between them. Well, oh God, depending on what time. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter how much, how, um. Anakin and Padme. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know how Ana how old Anakin was during Clone Wars when Ahsoka and him meet. I'm gonna say six years is the age difference. Yeah. And the age difference between Anakin and Padme. Math is not my strong suit. Um I 
I'm going to say... I can't even think of how old he was in Fan Menace or how old she was. Man, I want to say it was double digits. Easy, but I want to say she was 14 and he was six when they met, which is only eight years. I think she was 14. I think. I don't know. You'd rather keep silent, Arvini? All right. <laughs> Rooster, your peoples have been climbing trees bare feet for generations. Whoa. What? I like Ahsoka, I do, but how could he be denied master rank when he was one? Oh, you mean Anakin? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, Anakin. Dude, I, if I were Anakin, I'd be salty too. I'd be like, bruh, I'm up in here like so, freaking winning battles left and right. Like, you know, doing my Jedi due diligence, but. Can't be. He can't be a master. We do not grant you the rank of master. Well, yeah, which is actually. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just now re rethinking this. Yeah. Anakin was a master to Ahsoka. She was a Padawan. And Anakin was technically not even Jedi Master. He was only a Jedi Knight when he trained her. And he literally sat there in episode three, asked to be master, and they said, you are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. Wow. It's six years for both, really? So, I thought, I thought it was eight years for sure for Anakin and Padme, but yeah, six years for Ahsoka and Anakin. Yeah, that makes sense. I could see six years. Um, that's so crazy. Like when you think about it, Anakin was training her, and they were only six years apart. Like I don't know, that just seems so weird to me. <laughs> like I don't know. Like I feel like Anakin's still too young to be training people. But eh. he was nine. She was fourteen. Wait, really? He was nine? Must have been eight or so. She would. She should be twelve, thirteen, and he is six, seven. Yeah. Oh, you mean five years for both and not six? I'm sorry, Anakin and Padme. No, there's no way that there. It's five years. That's not accurate. Five years apart, and what's the big deal then? I mean, it is kind of a big deal because when they met, they were like, "Wait, wait, no." Any, but anyway, like, five years isn't a big age difference to be married, but they made it seem so scandalous, like everybody online. Sledgehammer, hey. Clearly they knew he was not Jedi material. <laughs> then why have him train someone, bro? Why? Wait, why the dot dot dot? Silently, sadly, the purge needed to have. Wait, what? Okay, it did not need to happen. Okay, that sounds messed up. But the Jedi were corrupt and they did need to get put in their place. I can say that. But a purge seemed a little much. <laughs> seems a little much. Those poor freaking Padawan learners, though. Might I have master skills? He just didn't have master control. He was a loose cannon, dangerous. Oh, yeah, totally cop. Yeah, I, I totally... Okay, I should say, I want to specify. I, uh, I understand immensely and completely why they did not make Anakin the rank of master. But uh, now, I'm even just now realizing that when he asked to be a rank of master, he had just trained Ahsoka. Granted, in the Jedi Council's eyes, he probably failed. And their eyes, knowing the council, they're like, eh, your Padawan didn't even stick with the Jedi. So therefore, you done failed. 
I wouldn't be surprised at this. <laughs> oh, that's how they saw. But anyway, like I'm just now seeing it from his perspective, bro. I would be hella pissed off too, especially after that. Like this dude, I've seen. I watched Clone Wars. I've seen Anakin be in the worst of battle situations. That man came up on top on so many occasions when he should not have. Now, granted, he is a Jedi, and I think that's the overall issue is that even the Jedi Council can't decide whether their peacekeepers are soldiers. In that time period that Anakin grew up in, he's a soldier, in my opinion. The Jedi are acting like soldiers, in my opinion. So therefore, I feel like he should have been ranked master just by that. Just by his his war efforts and all the stuff that he's done. I mean, even with helping Ahsoka and stuff. Like, he's done so much for the Jedi. But, yeah, he is... He's a good soldier, but he's a terrible Jedi in the sense of if you're looking at Peacekeeper, yeah, he's like super like angsty all the time always getting into trouble <laughs> always breaking the rules like he's not a good jedi peacekeeping wise so yeah i get why they didn't give him master in that regard but like they're just so freaking hypocritical man i'd be mad mj i thought it was a lotro stream <laughs> listen okay like i just i know more about star wars than i do Lord of the rings so like uh, this is me on my soapbox I'm on a soapbox mood today, I guess. Um, Sledgehammer, he was a man. Yeah, he was doing a manager job for the regular, but employee pay. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. That's why I'm getting heated now. I'm like this poor man's getting getting like minimum wage for a job. He should be getting paid like <laughs> and have bennies and all that, you know. Uh, Gio, one reason to become a Jedi Master is to uh, train a Padawan to knighthood, yeah. And you know what's crazy is that Ahsoka, it almost sounded like, they didn't specify it, but for Ahsoka, it was almost like her trial into knighthood from what everything that happened. And sh if she would have stayed, she probably would have been knighted. Probably. So it's like he would have definitely been a master, you know? <laughs> he would have done it right like but she chose not to stay and honestly like i absolutely i love ahsoka i let me put it like that i don't like how they're doing ahsoka now but i love ahsoka in her younger years seeing her growth like uh like i, I don't know like as as someone as a teenager myself when i was watching clone wars and then i got really into it um like, Ahsoka was, like, my... She was my girl. But, um... <laughs> Toadster done ranting about Star Wars. Exit chat as he's burned at the stake from the Star Wars community. Oh, gosh. What'd you even say? You said the extended universe is poop. It's poo-poo. All right, yeah. Just, just... Yeah. Okay, you said more, but... Uh, anyway. Um... Yeah, I just I love I love younger Ahsoka. I think she's great, but I'm so glad that she left the Jedi. I I really am. That was the best decision she could have ever made. I think you might like Imperial Knights. They are gray Jedi essentially. Some years after the second death of Death Star, I don't like the gray Jedi concept anymore. They're they've really just completely killed it. And I'm so I don't want to see anything of the sort get done because clearly even Disney doesn't even know what the heck a G gray Jedi is. It's just stupid. Ahsoka never got knighthood. Yeah, she didn't, but she she probably would have after because that's what they hinted at and in, in season five and you know before her exit because you know this is a true sign of a Jedi Knight. This was actually your great trial, said Mace Windu. So I'm assuming great trial is like knighthood talks even though they didn't specify they would knighthood her but like if she would have stayed she probably would have been knighted relatively soon after so therefore anakin would have been done so therefore just saying even more that's a big uh, you know it's a big conspiracy we'll say or just a big assumption but if that were the case you know anyway soka was after episode three was done think george lucas wanted more star wars stuff 
Um, new Ultra character model looks dope, says Toaster. <laughs> Toaster's like, let me change the subject. Old Republic was corrupt and ineffective. The Empire, while messed up, uh, very effective. We're getting new models. Wait, what are you guys talking about? I thought we were on... Are we talking about the feet? Or are you guys actually being for real? Young people are full of emotions. Can't you control them? Well, age gives them advantage. That's true. <laughs> I love you, cutie bits. I love you too, MJ. Don't say, oh yeah, you enjoy the original films too. I refuse to acknowledge the Star Wars universe goes beyond the originals. Honestly, at this point, I'm about to do the same. I'm just over it. I love Ahsoka, but sorry, Ahsoka, you don't even exist if I <laughs> go just face off the originals. <laughs> Prequels are only good for the memes. I honestly, okay, one of my favorite movies, Star Wars movies, is a prequel movie. So I love them, but they are meme -y. They are very meme -y. You just learned some of the most common path to rank was to train and elevate several Padawans to the rank of Jedi Knight, typically one right after the other, and have them all successfully pass their Jedi trials. The new Ahsoka is great. I don't like the new Ahsoka arm. Arbany, I feel like Ahsoka's trying to be Gandalf, and Ahsoka is not a Gandalf. I don't care how freaking knowledgeable, how freaking uh, just amazing she is. No, she could never, she could never be like a Gandalf in the Star Wars universe. It'd be like she it's almost it almost feels like they're trying to replace her with Yoda in some ways. And I don't like that. But maybe that's just what I'm hinting at. So it's her new hope, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi cannot be top. Best of all films, anything else is poo. I mean man, I've been rewatching some Return of the Jedi clips. Return of the Jedi is one of my least liked Star Wars films, but I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna switch around my Star Wars tier list. Legends was of the 90s was awesome. Want to read the Thrawn books? You say silent. I still haven't read the Thrawn books, but I'm not even interested with how they've betrayed him. They really done messed him up. Kiki off topic. For the scavenger hunt care um, card about Frodo. Does anyone know where the Remembrance behind Lobelia's house in the Bagan are? I can't seem to find them in the wikis and given coordinates. The Remembrances in Lobelia are in Lobelia's house. So you'll have to go and like enter the house, Kiki. Once you go, you're going to find one. And then there's, I think there's three in their total. But they're like in different rooms and stuff. Aside from Rogue One, Disney Star Wars is crap, pretty much. I 100% agree with that. Rogue One and Andor. Those are good. But honestly, I give a lot of credit to Gareth Edwards because I feel like he had to fight a, probably a lot is my assumption to get the film to look like how it did in Rogue One, you know? Geo Obi-Wan was trained in Jedi arts by Qui-Gon after his master was struck down by the uh, Maul. Nobi became the first Jedi and a millennial to defeat a Sith Lord. After which... But, uh, wait. Maul wasn't... Maul wasn't a Sith Lord. When did Maul become a Lord? Did he even become a Lord? After which he would be a knight and later on a Jedi Master. Well, what's the reason why he became Master straight after? He trained a paddle on a knighthood. Right, exactly. And killed a Sith Lord. Oh. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. He wasn't- but Maul wasn't a Sith Lord. Well, they probably thought he was a Sith Lord, but then they found out he wasn't. <laughs> okay, thanks, got it. It has something about behind and I was confused. Yeah, that doesn't seem accurate. Maul was more of an assassin, a martyr. I think technically... I don't know, when Obi-Wan encounters Maul, I don't know where Maul is in his training-wise. Maul is such an interesting character. That's just, just one... Because, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, technically, was he even... Was he even Sith? That's actually a good... That's a good combo. I don't know. Because, like, once he, like... After Obi-Wan, you know, did the thing. 
How would you rank Maul? Like, I don't even think technically he would, he could technically be considered Sith. But I mean, I consider him a Sith no matter what. But, um, like, even in, like, you know, future stuff that I won't say and other stuff he's in, um, <laughs> someone in the world chat says SSG is holding my crafting materials hostage. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Yeah, like even in um even in later stuff. Okay, I I want to say something but I I almost have to spoil to say it, but it's another discussion topic so I won't. Turn the Jedi is my favorite great battle says no one. I do really like Return of the Jedi. Um simply because the speeder chase. I love the speeder chase. I don't really care for the battles in Return of the Jedi. I really didn't. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> uh, Toaster, they're all great. I'm seriously just trolling. I just don't enjoy the newer films really, and I respect them in their own right. I love Mando and Rogue One speaking of the recent stuff. Yeah, I get you, Toaster. I think we can all agree. I think we're all on the same wavelength as you. The original Thrawn trilogy, not the new book. Yeah, 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 I know. I just don't want to even read the original ones, because why would I read the original ones where he's actually a good character when they can't even make him do good stuff now, you know? <laughs> like... I don't want to be like all hyped up for Thrawn just to then be like, well, then why the hell when I watched all this stuff, why did he do this? And then, you know, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, uh, Emperor said he was his apprentice the si and literally in episode one. I mean, yeah, the Emperor did say that, but I don't think like the Jedi didn't know. But Mace Windu even questioned like, like, I don't think the Jedi would just assume Maul was a lord because... They literally have that conversation at the end, Mace Windu and Yoda. Mace is like, well, who did we destroy? The master or the apprentice? <laughs> but I guess either way, I guess technically. No, I don't think Maul was ever a lord. I was saying Ivy, this is a low try. I know. We're just chit-chatting today. It's like a big just chatting stream. <laughs> but I swear, I am playing Lotro. All right, fine. There, now we can keep talking. <laughs> Lotra on the screen, so you guys are happy, right? I don't think he was meant to take over or more of an attack dog to be unleashed. Oh, yeah, Emperor Palpatine was gonna ditch his butt over in no time. <laughs> Coco, he is the end game player that boosts his main and doesn't know how to really use it. Copy, I really like the whole vibe of Return of the Jedi. I like the vibe in Return of the Jedi too, it's definitely different, but. How is Maul an interesting character? He appears twice, dies in the second scene, does not speak a word. Okay, clearly, Arbany, you have not been watching the rest of Star Wars. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to say anything now because, yeah, I don't want to spoil. <laughs> Maul is such a good character, okay? I'm not, I'm never going to say anything. Silent Sam Witwer sounds great as well. Dude, Sam Witwer, I love Sam Witwer. When I met him, he was so passionate. He's a great, he's a great dude. He should write and direct. I, he clearly cares more than Disney does about stuff, and I think even he would agree with that. The politics and more dialogue than the others, that's for sure, yeah. Silent, I'm wiping my brain best I can of Disney stuff, yeah. I should too. No one turns to the dark side except EU as canon. Disney as legends. Then you will be hyped for Thrawn. Yeah, maybe that's how I'll have to do it. Lost in the Ivy, I'm picking on you. Dooku wasn't meant to take over either. Bro, I love Dooku! Okay, Dooku is so cool. Okay, I love Dooku because this man is so freaking clever. He's so... He's so good with manipulating, I feel. But honestly, he manipulates with the truth. That's what makes him so freaking, like, batty. But it's like... I don't know. He he definitely has Jedi principles. Um, but, either way... I feel so bad for him because... He realized... No, I don't feel bad for him. I don't... I'm taking that back. But I think the craziest part of all of episode 3 was... He realized everything at his final moments, you know? Like, I feel like it hit him, and it hit him so deep. And I think at that point, he could have said so much, and he could have 
possibly not have perished, but he just almost chose to like keep with this Jedi principles, not say anything. But like it was wild. Like I don't know. Like I, I keep rewatching that scene where he gets his arm, you know, his hands like chopped off by Anakin, and he he falls, and then Chancellor's like, "Good, Anakin, good," you know, kill him, you know, and then Duco just looks and he's just like, "Her," but I like Duku knew. Like, Dooku had to have known he was the Chancellor, yeah? I feel like he would have had to know. So the fact that, like, you hear your master basically be like, end him, like, <laughs> and I feel like his face, like, I feel like he knew when he looked back at it, and then he looked at Anakin, you know, and he was just like, but I just, I'm just, like, ooh, like, oh, that moment. Dooku probably felt he probably was so mad be like I think he was just like defeated at that point but like obviously but I just feel like if you knew if you were like at your your end basically and then you hear that and then you put together the pieces who's about to take you out you're like wow I was so naive you know or like you know I, I don't know maybe maybe I don't yeah, he had to have knew. Maybe he knew Anakin wouldn't listen. Obi Wan would have. Yeah, Obi Wan would have. Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Now, when you really think about that, the way the whole fight transpired. Wow, like wow. Now I'm really thinking about it. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm getting like way too into this. Now. <laughs> Christopher Lee is amazing. R I P. Yes. <sighs> Oh, Geo, you said the Sith Apprentice and Sith Master both held the title Dark Lord of the Sith simultaneously. Just sending this again. But that, I don't think that's accurate. Sally and Copy, thank you for contributing to the community challenge. Yeah, Maul is one of my favorites. I used to not like him at all, but... Yeah, you've never seen Clone Wars. You were missing out. Um... Yeah, I've never heard of that. I thought Dark Lord only pertained to masters. Not even masters, honestly. Like, Dark Lord, you I feel like you had to be crowned that by a, a Sith Master. I feel like Dark, Dark Lord... Hold on. Dark Lord of the Sith. Was Dooku even a lord? I don't even think that. Count Dooku was never addressed as Lord, but Emperor Palpatine was always addressed as Lord. And I never heard Maul addressed as Lord. Well, Maul definitely could not have been a Lord. That I feel like that's almost fact. And if he was at any time, it would have been in episode one, but he definitely was not after. You haven't heard of that either? No, he was a Count? Right, I know. I'm like, he's Count Dooku. But, like, maybe he had another title. But, like, there's no way he would say, you know. Yeah. What was Dooku's, like, first name then? Dooku is classified as a Dark Lord. That's weird. Yeah, Clone Wars definitely gets... I feel like Clone Wars gets good at Season 3. Like, it gets really, really good. Um, there are, like, a few episode arcs before that that are nice, but, like, I feel like Season 3... Honestly, this is the part that really changed my love of Clone Wars. It was when they did the new character revamps and stuff, and it was right during the, like, Mortis stuff, the Mortis section of stuff, because then they go into the Citadel. Bro, the Citadel was cool great i love the one with obi-wan and cad bane in season four the box and stuff you'll know what i mean for solomon star wars galactica and force only yeah let me lay some truth on you youngins 
Dooku is so good except when between two lightsaber blades. Honestly, at that point, I feel like he was just tired. He just gave up. Because knowing Dooku, he would not have given up, but I feel like he just gave up. You got a good question. What lightsaber form did Dooku use? Oh, God, I don't know. All I know is that... I think Ahsoka uses form 2 and four, five, or form 5 reverse. I'm assuming Dooku probably used... I have no idea. What did Obi-Wan use? Form 1, 2, 3? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Sith Art Masters is exception, even to reach, hence the rule of two. They destroy each other without Jedi interference. Yeah, but isn't it the, the... Not the Master should be... The Master shouldn't be destroying the, the Padawan, one, but... Or the Apprentice, I guess. But the Apprentice should be destroying the Master, so it's kind of... I don't know, it's just kind of odd to see it get ref reflected, but I mean... I mean, it's, uh, it's accurate, I mean... Ooh, ooh, here's a good question. Here's a good question. Wait, I think I I think I know this one. Um Yeah, she's form five, I'm pretty sure, but she's reverse gripped on form five mostly. I think Anakin does two and five, but he um but she has reverse five because of her reverse grip on the Shoto mostly. But now I couldn't even tell you what form Ahsoka does because she's a mess. There's a form seven. I thought there were only four or five forms. Her? I'm learning so much. I'm so lost. You used to call him Count Poo Poo. Me too. <laughs> Dooku had Darth Tyrannic. He was. Oh, you're wrong. Lord Tyrannus, you're right. Dooku was Tyran- yeah. Damn, you are right. There's actually eight forms. Oh my gosh. Seven forms? Well, there's a lot of forms. You're right. The episode with Anakin on the Force Planet really made me love it. Yeah, Mortis, yep. Love that. He was Lord Tyrant. I remember that. Hey, Ma hey, Miz, how you doing? I promise I'll behave today. Let's go. Silent uh, operator member supposed to still see ads. Just curious. Um... I would assume not, but now that you have me questioning, I'm looking into this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bora, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. I hope you're having a good day. No, it says that channel memberships don't remove ads. It's only YouTube Premium. Wow. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even think about that. 
Obi is form three. Soka's a master of form five, yeah. I think so, but reverse. Zuka's a master of form two, seven. If he feels the apprentice is inappropriate, he'll use them until a uh, need to be discarded. Yeah, that's true. Annie is master of form five and three. Oh. We always forget about Jarkai. Jarkai's the eighth. Never even heard of it. Like the end of Rebels, the world between world. No, 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 no. Miz, that is the downfall of Rebels right there. That's when Rebels went by for me. Because that was the moment that Star Wars time travel became a thing. <laughs> And I'm over it. <laughs> Explains a lot of E. Yes, but like, no. Brewster, I got no ads. Yeah, but that's for Twitch. Yeah, Twitch, you get, you don't get ads when you're a sub, but YouTube members still get ads. Unless you have YouTube Premium. Interesting. So I could use this form... Four and five. All I know is she uses one of them reversed. Okay, that's all I know. <laughs> Thank you for checking. Yeah, sorry, Silent. I learned that today, too. I'm like, I don't know, but I'm so used to Twitch ways that I forget. The scene in Rebels when Anakin fought Ahsoka made me tear up. Bro, Toadster. I'll never forget. So I didn't have cable then. We were too broke for it. But um, I bought the episode like on Apple. Um, Bora, you said, can I ask you where you're from? Because you pronounced my name correctly. Um, I am from Ohio. Um, but welcome in, Bora. How you doing today? You know where I can get specific firework colors for the Gandalf quest? I have no idea. Hi. I absolutely have not even done that. Poor Jojo having to go to YouTube. Wait, what's bad? What's bad with YouTube, bruh? What's bad with YouTube? When I can sub, uh, when I cannot sub on Twitch? All right, no worries. Thanks for even thinking about subbing, you know? <laughs> um. Wait, there's time travel? Screw that. <laughs> It's not, ta okay, it's not time travel, but, like, I don't know what I can say without spoiling stuff, but, like, let's just say Ahsoka should have been gone multiple times, but this girl just has plot armor and... Just Dave Filoni writing just the most wackiest of stuff to keep her away, <laughs> like to keep her alive. So, <laughs> what we'll just say? We'll put it like that. <laughs> we'll put it like that, okay? This, like, just her and Rebels season two. It, it, just, I, the biggest thing i was always gripping to when i like when i saw the season two finale of star wars rebels i stayed up so late to watch it i bought the episode it didn't even go on my apple tv until like 3 a.m and i stayed up to watch it so i watched it i cried my freaking eyes out at season two i was so sad. season two i cried so much at the episode bro um because it was just so sad. Like, Kaden and Ahsoka and Vader and... It was also... It still makes me so sad. But, um... Yeah, um... The biggest thing... The biggest... Like, after... Like, I had to watch Rebel Season 3 to get answers about some things that happened at the end of Season 2. And... 
I was very upset when I found out what the answer was. And I was like, y'all really wrote that? <laughs> y'all really wrote it like that? Or it might have been even season four when we got the answer. I don't remember anymore. But it was just the most ridiculous freaking bologna sandwich writing I ever seen in my life. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You just prefer Twitch, Miz? Yeah. You're from Turkey Bar? Oh, sweet! Welcome! So I think for fireworks, you have to craft it. My character... Wait, you have to craft the fireworks? I thought you could just buy them somewhere. I have no idea how to get on. I just don't pick it up. I'm... I don't know. <laughs> Miss Snips does have plot armor. I miss her nickname, Snips. World Between Worlds is another world of the Force that makes time travel possible. So dumb. So dumb. And the... F Bro, in Ahsoka, they just make it dumber. They just make it even dumber, bro. I... Anyway. <sighs> Technically, it could be classified as fate. I didn't think of that, but I could be... I, I could get that. Whereas Rosie Cotton... Um, I think she's in Farber Maggots area? Like, around there somewhere? Lotro Wiki! Oh, she's at the she's at the farm by the stage. Copy. She's uh she's at the farm by the stage. Um right outside of Hobbiton, a little bit outside of like the bar area at Hobbiton. Um but it's that farm. There's like a couple guys over there and like a chicken or two. I saw her on YouTube with Anakin, cool. But uh, same with Vader and Kenobi fight. I prefer the fan-made remake of the New Hope fight. I'll send it to you in the fighter. Like, yeah, honestly, the fan-made remake's kind of cute. It was a Dave Filoni sandwich. I feel like it was a Dave Filoni trying to, like, put EU stuff in, and Disney just, like, gave him limitations. And he just said, all right, let's send it. <laughs> Geo, uh, realm exists outside of time and space is accessible through ancient Sith and Jedi temple portals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> where's the, um... Where's the Lucasfilm story group when you need them, right? That's all I'm gonna say about that. Anyway. What was I even doing in Lotro? I'm sorry, I went on a whole other rant. It's five o'clock already. Oh, my God. My granny texted me an hour ago, and I'm just now reading it. Do do. I started the Star Wars talk. How dare Geo? How dare you talk about things that interest you here? <laughs> and how dare I go on a ramble about it too? <laughs> the only modern Star Wars stuff I follow now, Soul Tour. That's about it. Soul Tour is actually not too shabby, but. Is Swotor even canon? I don't know. I feel like they called Swotor canon, which is my biggest thing. I don't think Swotor should be canon, but whatever. I've given up. My plan works. Geo's like, I've been thinking about this the whole time. Okay. I need remembrances. That's what I need. Oh, and I needed to defeat foes. That's right. Lotron Wiki. Uh, no, not Rosie Con. Anniversary event scavenger hunt. It says for. Oh, well, wow, there's multiple places you can go to get the remembrances. Okay. Huh? 
there are some at the crossroads area. Um, I don't think that's the shore, but okay. Oh, right. They're like down, down. They're they're far down. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, there's the two in the eave spires, but I'm not going that far. That's way too far to go. Uh, reflections. Uh, some of the reflections I need. Wait, there's one in Evendim I can do. Hmm. Apparently there is, or at least there should be. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and the subsequent spin-off material hasn't been officially included as part of canon. Uh, Kodar? Kodar, I don't think it's canon anymore. Um, I don't, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they're gonna try to say the spin-off is canon, but then they're gonna backtrack it. <laughs> hey, Rosa, how you doing? So Torn Kodor, if they get rid of it, then kiss millions to billions goodbye. Well, I mean, they've kind of ditched Kodar material. Swotor, <laughs> they've done messed up Swotor bad. I can't believe I went back to Swotor and it's it's so empty now. That's a game I'm worried about. Can't believe they got rid of the sweaty the sweatiness of it all. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, the remembrances. That's what we're working on. Okay. I've got it. Yeah, hey Rusa, how you doing? Uh I need to defeat foes in the numinous. Uh well I did destroy a few, but I guess that didn't count. Big sad face, big sad face. Easy peasy. I think that's my 10, yeah? Yep, that's my 10. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hey, tweet my hashtag, how you doing? Arbony is it really empty? I was thinking of playing it for stories one day. I mean, it's not like empty, empty. Like I'm being over dramatic, I'll be honest. But like, <sighs> PVP is dead in that game. PVP being dead in Soul Tour is very concerning in my experience. Well, I guess it's what not dead, dead, but you? like, it's just not. <laughs> It's not at all what it used to be. Like, PvP used to hop at any point of the night, and now it's just, it's... You really have to be specific about what days you try to do it and stuff. And you have to be a max level. Um... I don't know, Swator's just not, it's not what it used to be. The vibes are just off. Rosa, I was fine, but today my eardrums have been destroyed. I've gotten the flu. No! And my cat and her kittens are sick again! No! Man, everybody in your, uh, under your roof is just sick. I hope you all feel better soon. <clears throat> it's really unfortunate. <laughs> do, do. Seems like all Disney cares about ESG. Arbany PvP has been dead for like 10 years. There was never alive. Man, all I know is that 2019 PvP was hopping on my server. And now it is not. Yeah, stick with Lotro. I mean, you're not, honestly, Swotor, this is my biggest complaint I have with Swotor at the moment is just, um, Sorry, I'm like, I have like phlegm or whatever. It's like my nose, like I'm struggling to breathe from both nostrils, like I'm getting sick or something, but it's like, just like, bleh. It's gunk. Um, 
what was I even saying? And <laughs> I feel a bit better. I'm like, what's I even saying now? Um, I don't know what. Oh, Swotor, my biggest issue with it. My biggest issue with Swotor is that the content that they are coming out with, like each year, dumb. Their updates are so bad. It's really sad that the date night update is probably the up the only update I feel like that I was really excited for that actually delivered. And it's only like five minutes extra of content. Like it's not even a big deal. But it became a big deal because it was just decent. I'm glad I wrote out here because I did remember this treasure cache was here. Rosa, so we're thinking um, they have what they had before, that they should have had antibiotics longer instead of just a few days, but it's been three, four weeks since they were sick, so I don't know what's happening. Aww. Yeah. Some of the tests were negative, so it's most likely a stomach bug. Aww. It's bummy. <clears throat> Well, when a new expansion brings five-hour content, then yes, there is a problem with the game. That's true. You just have the flu, so you're good, just feeling a little meh. It's them I'm worried about. Yeah. Aww. Silent, you said, uh, Lotra just needs more advertising. Fix lag, put modern group finder. Stick to the lore. It'll be great still, yep. Yeah, Swotor definitely has some, uh... Swotor really needs to, like, get some major changes together, and Lotro just has to get some minor tech stuff updated. Um, and then, yeah, marketing. But, they have to make sure that they fix the lag before they market. Wait, what? I feel like my cat is doing something weird. Bad weird, bad weird. Uh, tweet, why would- What? Oh my god. You guys, that is so creepy. Rosa, how do you do that? I literally get a text that says, Hi, this is Muriel's vet reaching out. Oh. <laughs> They're reaching out because I haven't updated my address and they sent me... <laughs> they sent me a card saying, giving me a reminder about Muriel's vet appointment, which I know. She's actually due for one um, next month, but I'm probably going to take her soon. Yeah, Rusa, how'd you do that? That's so creepy. They never text me and then they texted me of all things. And not only that, but we just talk about it. So you need to fix a lag and set up a group finder? Well, the problem is there's not many- there's not enough to group. <laughs> Half the time. Depending on the time of day, most people aren't gonna group at like... You know. Most people aren't grouping in the afternoons. I feel like it's always at evening. But I don't think a group finder is gonna fix that. I don't know. I- I, I don't know. I'm like very anti-group finder. Like, I don't think it's gonna work, and if it does, you're gonna just get put with people who are just... What can I Not do even worth you? grouping with, probably. Muriel! Stop it! Stop. My cat is acting up, bro. Stop. You're a witch? Oh my gosh. No, Rosa. You're not. Rosa. Mimic, hey! Why didn't it buy, um, why didn't it buy Amazon Lord Lotro instead of creating their own Lord of the Rings MMO? Why didn't Amazon buy Lotro? Bro, I'm glad Amazon didn't buy Lotro. Do if Amazon bought Lotro, it would be messy. Well, okay, here's the thing with Lord of the Rings online, okay? They have an old system. They've made it very clear. They have an old engine that they use. I don't think Amazon wants to fund to keep something like an old engine like that, which would then give them limitations and stuff. So they want to make their own, which is fine. I understand. 
I said you're next to someone called Hiria. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so wild. Yeah, so... Like, I get why Amazon didn't buy Lotra. I'm really glad they didn't, um, but... This just makes everything difficult. We'll need Amazon taking it to just kill it. Yeah, they would. I'm not even trying to be rude, but they probably would. They'd probably want to do, like, so much to it. Like, they'd have their own ideas, but it just wouldn't work out. Um, okay, I think I'm good. <clears throat> My throat is killing me now. Oh, right, there's a reflection over here. Depends on the group primer and for what activity, yeah. You really wish that you can take them to the vet tomorrow? Only ones on call during the weekend have given us bad care, yeah. I want to take them to the regular one, but the clinic is hard to get emergency appointments to. What's today, Saturday? I mean, can they hold out for like two days, do you think? You don't need Amazon, yeah. Just work with the Lotro team for Lotro 2. But I don't think Lotro wants a Lotro 2. I don't think we need a Lotro 2. I think we need... We need upgrades to Lotro. The problem is the engine upgrades to Lotro will almost make it an entirely different game. I think they're just at a really tough spot, honestly. Let's be honest, if they bought Lotro, they would have done so just to kill it and not compete with their new game. Coco, you said Amazon must stay far away from everything Middle Earth related. Tweet, you said Lotro doesn't need a Lotro 2 because the story really does not need a whole new game. Yeah, true. I'd be like a DC. We just need Lotro 2.0. Just needs optimizing. Yeah, it just needs optimizing. That's a good word for it. It's a good word for it. Right, this is an instance I need to do. Oh, I remember this instance. The time has come. Angered by more than uh. the treacherous betrayal of Laodan, the ranger Kalenglad is determined to confront the Black Numenorian and learn where Narvi, the ring of Amathia, resides. It's like I have like the I biggest so? like phlegm in the back of my throat and it's hurting because I just want it gone. Need to finish cleaning. I got distracted earlier by the Fallout TV show. BRB dinner. I mean, everybody's BRB and it's all good. Have fun, guys. Oh, cutscene? Oh. <laughs> I don't remember that. So perish all who oppose the might of Angmar. My friend, I hope thou wouldst see my triumph. see thee again and become thy doom <laughs> copy you can voice this better <laughs> i know i know you could do it i don't know why they're not hiring you man um my poor man's this oh golly Greetings. Yeah. <laughs> Arvani, I'm happy to play this game for another 50 years. Me too, honestly. Bakaria said, not a new game. It just needs plastic surgery, exactly. Rosa, that's what we're hoping since we have some meds left from before. But the breeder is coming by tomorrow to check how they're doing. And if we have to go to the vet, that's what we'll do. It's not even a question if they're super bad right now or during the night. I will take them ASAP. Yep. I just don't want to have those veterinarians again who keep shrugging shoulders doing nothing saying we don't know. Right, right. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you. It just sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, if it's not like... I don't know, especially since they were getting better. It, it, must, it must be some sort of a bug. 
Twitch drops would do it somewhere, right? Yeah, but they don't want to do Twitch drops, which I just think is just astronomically ridiculous, but... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Rosa, I'm sorry for venting. This literally just happened a few hours ago, and I'm fine. No, no, don't apologize. You're good. No, I mean, I'm sorry you're going through all that, because, I mean, that's not fun. I've been there. Dude, like, vets at this point to me, like, every time I go to the vet, there's something wrong with my cat. And, like, my granny just went to the vet, and they're like, oh, yeah. Your cat has a... What does her cat have? Oh, he has a roundworm. And the way that you get roundworms is, like, if the cat's outside, and we're like, our cats are indoor cats, so, like, how the heck? <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but whatever so it, it's just yeah it's like really you just want to fix it but then it seems like th there's nothing that's fixing it and it doesn't feel like that they're doing what they need to do anyway so it's just upsetting all right um nothing else here <laughs> <laughs> copy said i need that paycheck ssg where you at call me yo copy email them i'm telling you email them just hit cord up on twitter be like can i get an official email for some voice acting i'll send you my reel cord will give you the info and then you'll be Greetings. set that's how that works You'll be set, and if they're interested, they'll they'll reach out, and if not, then you you can at least said you tried, and Standing Stone Games is slacking, you know? Ball's in their court. Um... I think we just go... let's go to... I don't know what to do. Like, Mary sounds easy. But the bodies of water might be easier. Let's go to Forkel, actually, since we're right over here. Um, boop. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Tweet, you said, I honestly will play this game without update, but I would love some optimization. Yes, uh, can we, can we please, like, make this, like, a, uh, like, a uh, petition we sign? I would honestly be alright, like, especially right now with the max level 150. Great number. Can we just not have any, like, future content for, like, a year or two? I I'm down for a year or two. Uh, maybe a year, okay, maybe two is, like, a little much, but, like, uh, take a year off, Lotro. Don't add any new updates of content. I don't want more to this game. I have plenty to get through. And I have alts, okay? I'll be fine. But, like, can we please get, like, a major, like, 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 just better, like, technical things in place f to make your game more fun to play? Like, please and thank you. But I know that that's not how they're gonna get make their money, but, like, they might actually realize doing something like that might actually keep people longer term to keep forking over money. You know what I mean? But I digress. Coco, personally, I prefer tons of content on okay graphics and barely anything to do with amazing graphics. Yeah, I'm the same way. Twitch drops usually double to triple the success of games on Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, but Sandy Sun Games just doesn't want to do it. I don't understand why they've just gone on record and they're like, nope, we're not interested. Need? So, they're not going to do it. Which, I mean, it's their, it's their right, but whatever. Some other stuff. I, I really question. I just really question some of their, um, you know, their choices. Silly not to consider, right? Brewster, no real need. Just watch your past Twitch streams. <laughs> Russo, those are 100% indoor cats too. Vaccinations are up to date. Kittens, though, waiting to get theirs since they aren't old enough yet. Right. But good. Uh, it's weaning sugar-free, so I doubt it's those either. Since those can cause similar issues. Aw, the food, yeah. Yeah, if they can fix the lag situation, fix some bugs, that would go a long way. Right! That would go such a long way, but I can see why they're more likely to make new content or something because that's where they can get more money. Like the fan bundles and stuff, you know, you get 
get a good paycheck there, but like I just don't understand if they could just fix the lag and just some small things like it shouldn't even take that long, but If they could just fix it, I guarantee you the amount of people that would be leaving Lotro would go down significantly Therefore, I feel like that would actually help them and keeping a consistent amount of revenue and income to the game but I digress all right, we're looking for remembrances here, people. Yes, that would be amazing and bring in more people in as well. Yes, exactly. It would bring in more people because then I'd be like, oh, well, there's no lag in Lotro. Like, that's something I always see in the YouTube videos and I can't even, like, I can't even deny it. Oh, well, when I was in, there wasn't, like, any, like there was, like, so much lag issues. Well, Yeah. I absolutely, I can't even say anything to make people feel better about it. Like, I can't be like, oh yeah, but they're working on it. Like, pff, yeah, frick, they've been trying to work on the frick forever. Like, they're not working on it, okay? Let's be honest. No, okay, they are, but like, they're, 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 they're slowly, they're slowly working on it. Um, like, but like, uh, what am I gonna say? Like, oh no, like, oh, there's no way that that was accurate, like. No, that was accurate. Like, I don't know. It just, it, it just makes me so bummed, it, just to say the least. I just want everybody to love Lotro like I love Lotro and new players to get into it because new players are what is going to keep this game alive. All right. Because, I mean, having consistent vet players around is great, and that's a great, that's a hard thing to have. But, there's only so long that you can keep the same people in your game playing. There's only so long, like, there's, life happens. I mean, like, we've all taken breaks from this game. I've taken breaks from this game, not because the game got bad, not because the game like fell off for me, none of that. It was just because life happened and I couldn't play and I decided to play something else, you know? Like, as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And that's a factor that they cannot control. But what they can control is they gotta keep targeting new players to join this game because if you could keep targeting newer players to join, that would mean that the cycle would still keep spinning. They will eventually turn into an older player and then potentially digress as well, or they might not even like the game, who knows. But, either way, you need to target new people. It's just like, it's just like this content, okay? Like, hear me streaming, I always have to constantly target newer viewership because that's just what you're supposed to do. May I be of help to you? You're supposed to because people are gonna forget about you. Maybe they grow up, maybe they change their content. Maybe they're like, eh, I'm not even interested in gaming anymore. I wanna learn finance because I've been there too. There's so many YouTubers I follow. God, I used to be so into YouTubers who did beauty and makeup. Pff, bro, I'm so far from that. I don't watch any of those YouTubers I used to watch anymore. It, it just happens, you just change. And the same thing happens with Lotro gaming stuff, you know? It happens with any gaming company. Some people are just gonna change. It happens. So you gotta keep targeting new players. But when you don't, and you rely on consistent viewership, that's that's where everything falls. Because it, it doesn't go consistent. Not long-term sustainability, anyway. Anyway, I'm sorry for ranting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh... I have a message I need to respond to. Okay. They should cancel their second breakfast and instead work more. <laughs> Whoa, Mem get well, Mem it well, true, chill. No, um, no, I mean they work a ton. I just think that, like I, like I say, it's kind of like I feel like Lotro is going through a Disney situation where. The people who are constantly working on the game want X, Y, and Z, but like the business portion of the game or like the investors or whoever like the main chain of commandment is, 
they would just want more content because yeah i think i just think that's what's happening mike thank you so much for the follow welcome to the weird community i hope you're having a good day um yeah i just feel like that's what the main issue lies right now so my um my my brr is killing me right now if i'm not uh if i'm gonna be honest so i'm trying to like maneuver you? better can you help me go to wait i could go to rivendell from here hold on take Three me to rivendell take me to rivendell 222 gold let's go hey hey go go well that's all gaming that's going in a disney phase all of entertainment even yeah that's true <laughs> That is true. I guess I should think about the gaming industry because they are going through a tough time right now. Guess what time it is? Copy what? That is not right. Okay. Poppy, are you sure that someone isn't, like, taking your internet? Like, is there any way someone could have, like, hacked and, like, got onto your modem or something? Because at 2.85, like, that that sounds like somebody's down, like, uploading some frick right now. And, like, that's just not acceptable. Like, that's too significant. <laughs> Coco, you said when I enter Umbar, my first words were, what the heck am- <laughs> Where the heck am I? Because it's not Middle Earth. Dude, I think Umbar reminds me of Rishi. And Swotor. It's what I said. It literally reminds me of a Star Wars-related planet. Something must be happening- Yeah, something- something major. Scott, thank you for contributing to the community challenge. Thank you. Aw, oh, bye, Kiki. Gotta go to the store. No worries. Nice seeing you, Kiki. Thank you for being here. Weird hydrate. If you stay so. Oh, thank you. That was a crisp hydrate. Um, where's our reflection pool? Oh, I see it. What can I do for you? Dude, this um, this pop tart is actually smacking right now. How you doing today, Scott? This pop tart is so good. Mmm, pop tart, so good. Yes, 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 sure, sure. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. You're walking slowly to Mordor? Wait, why? What kind of pop tart you say, Bay Man? Chocolate chip. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Um, what reflections do we have to do? The last refuge. Fire and ice. Let's say fire and ice first. Elrond Half-Elven fears that the remaining Nazgul has enlisted the aid of the Gaunt Lord Draugr to instill a fell spirit mm -hmm. into the frozen corpse of the ancient dragon Thorog. I guess we're in the Misties. The beast once more. Oh, Little I remember this one. Their evil plans. This one's annoying. To prove Boromir wrong? As you should, Scott, as you should.
Arbany, what is it with people walking into Mordor? It looks like a pandemic. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like say anything, but like, find it really interesting how we did our walk to Mordor chat and now like everybody's walking Mordor. You know, I, I think we're just trendsetters. <laughs> like not trying to, not trying to toot my own horn here or anything like that, but um, You know? <laughs> oh my god. I grow everyone. It is what it is, says Scott. <laughs> No, I mean, I think it's- I think it's cool that everybody's walking to Mordor. I think walking to Mordor should be something that people do at least once, and there should be a deed for it. Can't believe there isn't. And I can't believe that my frickin' inventory's already flippin' full, and I would love to use my flippin' crafting- my carry-all, but I flippin' can't even use it. I'm not mad, you're mad. I have so many freaking things for myself. Yeah, they should give you a title for that. The Weird Walker. Yo, that'd be so cool. I'd love just to have like a, just a little inkling of something. Just hinting to the weirdness. That's all. I would love something like that. You know, like we got to get copy into some voice acting. Um, voice acting reels for... Standing Stone Games. And then they need to hire him for some Dwarven work. And after that... We can get a weird title. Copy, ever since you made the comment yesterday about... How you've noticed that I eat a lot of sugary snacks. I literally can't get it out of my head and now I'm actually like... Severely looking at all of the snacks I eat like... Oh crap, you were right. You were so right. I'm way worse than what I thought. Yo, look at all these mobs though. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's good. I, it's good that I'm actually like looking at it now because before I was ignoring it But now it's like oh dang I can't ignore it, you know But I I mean I'm still eating my pop-tarts still but like you know besi besides that, I'm just actively Conscious about it now and then when I thought about it. I was like man. That's a lot of sugar. I ate yesterday like I ate I ate cake I had a piece of cake yesterday I had the chocolate chip pop tarts. I had a diet coke even. Like, went a little hectic there. Craving raw spinach. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want raw spinach. I do. I won't lie though. I do really want some asparagus. I would like some soup, some chicken noodle soup or something, but. I haven't gotten that. Oh man, look at the time. <sighs> Guys, I can't stream much longer. Unfortunately. Scott, so she eats sugary snack. Does that make her a sugary snack? Yeah, I'll, I'll slowly become one at this point. Wouldn't put it past. Become a sugary snack myself. Mm. 
Gosh, man. I have no space. No space. I think I could go over here. Nope. <gasps> I gotta die! Let's go! Use my stuff. Oh, here we go. All right, let's raise this beast. Well, technically, I don't want to raise it, but you know what I mean. Wait, could I? Do I need to do something to this guy? Nope. Nope, not a thing. Is it bad to say I feel like I barely streamed? I feel like I barely streamed, guys. And I streamed. So much this weekend. And I stream four hours, which is enough. But I feel like I haven't streamed. <laughs> Copy your like your stream though. Take a break? Yeah. Maybe I should. I'm just a mess, you know? I just- <laughs> I need to get my life together. I wanna click on the robes. Well, I guess I'm done. I got credit for it. Time for you to take a few days vacation in Rivendell or Lothorian and chill? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll just hang out with Galadriel and, uh... Celeborn. Oh! I hate when the reflection pools. I feel like you should just appear right out of the reflection pool. I shouldn't... No, I'm all the way in Misty's. I don't want to be here. Yeah, I certainly don't want to be here. I don't think there's anything to do in the Misties. Oh, Bali. Oh, a uh, giant's needle. All right, let's go to giant's needle. That's not too too far. You got another one of the of the hunter's arm. Heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like crab raving for you. <laughs> As I eat my pop tart, I do need to eat like actual food though. I haven't had actual food today. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Scott. You're gonna be done in no time. I'm it fully done. Mm 
Well, we got to year five today. I mean, that's progress. The bad news is year five looks like it's going to be taking some time. Nom, nom, nom. That was so good. That was like so, so good. Brewster, four count strip and mac and cheese. Dude, that sounds good though. I want, I want chicken and mac and cheese. In order to get the next scavenger rewards, you only need to do one card, right? Correct. Yeah, I'm just trying to do all of them because I'm a, I'm a maniac, but, uh, if you don't want to be a maniac like me, you just have to do one. The problem is, though, like, I don't know which one I should fully concentrate on to get to the next phase, you know what I mean? Like, these all seem... These all are gonna take some time. The reflection ones is not even a question. That one I surely will not get done. I don't even think I have all of these, so it's not an option. Um, but I'm just trying to get through them since I'm around, because why not? I think Mary's might actually be the go-to here, but I just don't want to run all the way around, because if I'm gonna run well all the way around, I might as well run all the way around all these other places too. Bodies of water might honestly, that one could be easier. I don't know. I just can't decide between Mary or bodies of water because I will have to run around no matter what. I'm just bummed about it. Silent, how goes the anniversary stuff? It's going. We're slowly chugging. I did an instance for reflections too, which is good news, but um other than that i don't even want to pick up these bases i don't e i don't even want to pick them up because they're just i i can't even put the stuff in my carry-all bruh <sighs> where's the bank all when you need them All right, we're looking for giant's needle. I'm almost done with reflections one, but I still have a quest to do actually. Which reminds me I should do that. Oh, right, I got stuck on the quest. That's why I didn't do it. There's a vase and a rock, lovely. Giants Needle, how are you today? And you somehow managed to get a Sally Nairus. Wow, that's an accomplishment. Good job. Army of River Hobbit RK is so cool. Just saying. I okay. So here's the thing. Now, all right. I'm calling. I'm calling you out, Copy and Jules and even Sally. Okay, I'm calling you all out. Because I get River Hobbit, finally! I'm ready to make those River Hobbit. And then, you know, Jules, Copy, you know, you come up with the great idea of Smexy Elves, okay? Now I want a Smexy Elf, but we could have had Smexy Elves the whole time, you know what I'm saying? But like, now it's like... I gotta wait to get a River Hobbit. Whatever my ult is, when I make my own ult, it'll be a River Hobbit, guarantee. It's all Jules. She's got the idea. Well, I'm calling you all out for liking the ideas along with me. <laughs> you know, we can make habits. I know, but now now we're getting to the part of too many alts, you know, like it's so many. Oh, wait, were there remembrances? At... Oh, crap. There might have been remembrances. Let me look that up real quick. Hope they're not, but... Do, 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 do. 
There are two remembrances here. Okay. I looked that up. What's a smexy elf? It's a male elf who looks fine. <laughs> so instead of like dwarven lady, cause basically because copies had to like endure like being a dwarven lady, you know, and people being like, oh, well, you know, and thinking it's like a literal ladies night when it's not. Wait, I can't take tomorrow off. Literal ladies night is tomorrow. I just realized that. Oh, fudge nuggets. I was going to take Sunday off of streaming, but now I can't. <laughs> Ooh, big yikes, big yikes. Um, anyway. <laughs> Oops. Um. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I have so much to do tomorrow. Um. Yeah, it's, 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 now we're all gonna be male elves. Embrace your inner hobbit. Hobbit is all. I love hobbits, man. Artists would, you know, slay me for saying that, but... <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of hobbit haters in the chat, you know what I mean? Like, like not right now, but just in general. I'm gonna take out these frost giants and get to advance while I'm here. Might as well. Because I only need ten more. I'm at advance and I will be doing the advanced versions probably soon because I'm trying to get through all all the way done with area door deeds at least the base basic deeds <laughs> suddenly I have a river hobbit struggling to like uh blue line burglar blue line burglar is the best it I won't lie, you won't really see like major damage benefits until a little bit later when you level them, but they're a fun, uh, really cool animations. Arbany, my main is a Hobbit mini, and I'm thinking about starting a new River Hobbit mini. Hey, do it, do it, do it. Should I make a River Hobbit mini? I don't know. I haven't thought about this. I don't know what my next class will be that I focus on for the next like three, four years, you know? Maybe I'll take tonight off? I mean, like, after this stream, I'm done. For the day. But... I don't know. I have a lot of homework to do. Big yikes. Many think little of them. So sad. Uh, or just shifting to a Hobbit RK. Nah. All right, and I'll get this one and then I'll leave. All right, let's go. <sighs> All right, Giant Slayer Advance unlocked. Just mm -mm -mm. delete all your elves and remake them as hobbits. That's true. But all of my, all of my stuff. Cool, cool, yeah. Yeah, after this stream, I'm done with tonight, because we're all hanging out, you know, and then... Um... After that, I was just gonna, like... I really need to clear out some storage. I, I only have about 300 gigs available on my computer. I need to edit some streams. I need to edit some shorts. I really have so much homework I need to do. Um, so... I'm, like, gonna start cracking down. But knowing that Lotro Ladies is tomorrow, I have to have all my homework done before that which now stresses me out i really i totally spaced on it big yikes big yikes i can't decide if i should have a hobbit or an elf mini hobbit minis are cute elf minis are just too proper brewster warden for the next four years i'm not gonna lie the thought has that thought has crossed my mind But I don't know if I could commit. See, okay, so really the biggest thing, the really the only limitation I have when it comes to which, um, when it comes to which class I'm going to play next, it's basically just crafting. 
because I need alts that are going to be higher level in crafting. And my scholar's good on the farmer side, so I need a cook. But um, just besides cook, I want to get like, you know, a, a something else major in like started. I don't know if it have that be armor smith. I don't know if that be um, like Taylor. I haven't decided yet, but I whatever I make, it just has to be something that'll kind of complement my RK's crafting. I have to submit my pa my paper drafts tonight before midnight. Won't start until after sundown. <laughs> right? I'm the same way. Silent. I'm like oof. I'm just being so late. Like I have stuff that's basically like good to go. I'm like ready to get like, like I just have to do like a couple minutes worth of work on it, and then I could just you know submit the assignment. But I'm just being so lazy about it. I don't know what hit me, but like I think being sick and then just being like. I don't know, just like realizing the things I liked about not working and then the things what I didn't like, I was just like, oh, man, school just feels like such a such a big question mark anymore. <laughs> like, what am I doing here? It doesn't even feel like rewarding. But I know a lot of it's just this semester. Like, I knew this semester was going to be tough on me because I didn't really, I wasn't really taking classes I liked. But not only that, I didn't even have professors I liked, which really killed my vibe. I was like, well. I think she's the tailor. Like, I do have these alts that are all like crafting things but they're they're stuck they're actually stuck because i've progressed too much on this rk and not on the other characters so they are stuck it um i guess we could do we could go down to the ford uh what do i have to i have to study maps in elrond's house elrond has a house where's the house at can uh can y'all help me where is Arwen, by the way, too? Oh my god, and I have to talk to- Okay, let me get through this stuff first before I do the uh, next reflection. <laughs> You're burnout? Maybe I am. Maybe that is a sign of burnout. I'm burnout on school, though, which, like, I don't even put much time towards school. I really don't. Maybe, like... I'd say, like, 15 hours a week towards school. But, like, that's so little compared to all the other stuff I do, but... I don't know. I think the thing is with school, I just I'm lacking finding purpose right now because I actually feel pretty content where I'm at. But the purpose of school is just to get my foot in some doors. So and while I might not be looking for opportunities so much right now anymore, it just school is still important because it'll at least be nice for when I need to, you know. Uh, Hobbit or River Hobbit. There's no other option. True, though. Um, okay, let me... Let me go somewhere in here. I've been manning champ. I'm definitely not going champ. I think that I can almost confirm. My next character will not be a champion. I'm just not at all interested with, with, uh, champions right now. I was not a fan. Okay, I didn't know if something was in there or not. That's only houses, Auron's. Wait, really? This is like his house. Where's his bathroom? Our one is nearby, I think. Yeah, she definitely is. I still think of uh, like Shire Hobbits more, but River ones have bonner textures and additional hair cells. Or less hobbity, though. More like short men. Right, exactly. I know. I feel the same exact way. Definitely less hobbity. Um. And I don't like that, you know, oh. I don't like that aspect of it, but, um... You know, besides just that... I do, like, I love their- I love their hairstyles is what I'm trying to say. I can't even think what I'm trying to say. I love their hairstyles, they do seem less hobbity. I wish that they were more hobbity with just better hairstyles. I would love that. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they made me say it's understandable, yeah. Same with school. I play more than school. I have A's currently, but it stresses me out. Yeah, I I have 
like good grades like a's b's you know so and i'm not even really trying to like aim too high of like getting good grades or anything like that i just good enough that like you know i pass <laughs> but um i don't know i just scholars guild wait what might i take a moment of your time Execute the recipe for a Morgul pamphlet. All right. Thanks. But yeah, I'm just... I don't know. Maybe I am burning out. <laughs> I just don't know it. I'm gonna try Lore Master, but I don't know if I can handle it. I don't like Lore Master. I don't think I'll be playing the Lore Master next all either. I'm just going in all these rooms just so I... Just so I make sure I'm looking through everything properly. Mm, I pretty much play only healers. Man, I haven't been in this library since the update. I didn't, like, the update to Last Homely House. I did not know that it changed this drastically. I honestly don't like it. I liked it when it was more bare. It made more sense. To me, anyway. But Ooh, That looks sussy. Elrond. A strange fate brings you hither. Oh, wow. I didn't even know I own this. Wait, I'm a VIP. That's why I own it. <laughs> That's probably why I own the adventure. I was like, I did not buy the adventures. I know that. Huh. So we... Well, I got the maps. Do I need to talk to Elrond? I probably do. Nothing in Rivendell. I need to talk to Arwen. Mm, nothing to do there. Is that it? I just need to talk to Arwen now. Oh, and Aragorn. Aragorn and Arwen. Yeah. I haven't played this game forever, you say, see? CDNR, hey! Yeah, this game is still going! 17 years! We're on a 17 year anniversary event right now. This is wild. Alright, where could Arwen be? Mm. I have other roles and classes, but never really played them, you say, Arbany? Yeah, it's been a while since I played most of the classes. It's been a second. Let's try Elrond's Hall. Are you getting enough sleep and stuff? That could be a big factor. Well, I'm definitely not getting enough sleep, that's for sure. Oh my god, this is pretty! What is this for? I've never seen this room in my life! It's gorgeous! wonder if they added it when they did the update. She's outside? Oh, okay. And Aragorn is at the guest house. How long have you been playing? I've been playing for pretty much the entire time this game's been out. Um, I was six years old when uh, Lord of the Rings came out. Um, so, I mean... I've like, I say I've like played for like, you know, but like, I was so young I don't really remember some of it. But, other than that... Um, I would say a good 12 years consistently that I've played. 17 years on and off, 12 years consistent. So five years worth of breaks. Uh, Arwen, where are you? Oh wait, is she at the auction hall? Like over there? there okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything about my... <laughs> I don't want to strike another age thing, okay? And people calling themselves old and stuff. Like, it's happened all day yesterday. Oh, I thought Arwen would be over here. Arwen! Arwen! I'm gonna load your wiki yet. Mm. Oh, Arwen. Being difficult as ever. A little my bad. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm. It's not. It's not on you, C Diener. It's literally me because I said how old I was when I started playing, and this was a conversation Chad and I were having yesterday. 
Um, anyway. Um. <laughs> I'm not getting enough sleep. I've been up for 38 hours. Geo, can you please, for crying out loud, go to sleep? Geo, I love having you here. It's great. But, like, I need you to, like, rest. You might actually just, like, randomly shut down. And I don't want that to happen. 38 hours is a long time to go without sleep. Take a nap after stream, then do your homework. Well, I'm not even tired. I'm not tired right now, but I feel like maybe it's just burnout all the time. I don't know. <laughs> Sally and I are in Rohan Town hoping. Nice. I think she's north of the house. I don't ever run into her when she's around, so... Um... Oh, that's why. Okay, yes, thank you, Sissa. I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> go to sleep in eight hours. Geo, go to sleep now. Just cancel anything you had to do. Cancel going to work. Cancel your plans. I'm telling you, you need sleep. Sergeant, I wouldn't be able to type if I was up for 38 hours. I saw her in the house yesterday. Apparently, um, you can have her, like, she'll be around the house, uh, in certain areas of, like, your story or instance, but... If she's not, if you're not, like, in a particular part of the story, then... She over here. Howie. Howie. I'm not canceling the but why? Why are you choosing D&D &D over your sleep? I think the longest I've chosen to stay awake is probably two days. Jeez. I think I'm gonna have to sit some of you guys down and be like, listen. You know, I'm bad with sleeping, okay? I get a few hours, you know, three, four hours. I had two hours that one night and then I streamed like 15 hours that day. That's not good. Okay, so I'm like, I'm not... I'm not scolding, but I'm just telling you guys, like, as someone who actively chooses to make bad decisions about her sleep schedule and regrets it every time, to go even further about it is really bad. Aww. I love Arwen, she's so pretty. 68 hours is the longest I said that that's not good. That's not something that's not even something I want you to say <laughs> That's like really really bad for you Arbany purely from the gameplay perspective I say champion and warden are the smoothest clear locations Relatively good amount of skills and abilities warden's a bit tricky with the gambit chains, but it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, warden's not too bad um I think champions do have clear rotations, but I think the thing with champions is that you can make them more difficult if you want to go really into it. They're kind of a cool class. They're not that difficult, but if you want to make them difficult, you could. <laughs> you could make them- I guess by difficult, I mean sweaty. You could make them sweaty. They're not a sweaty class, but you can easily make them sweaty. I mean, you can do that for any class, but I feel like champions are supposed to, supposed to be made that way. Welcome back, Goose. Any other classes either spam the same three, two, three buttons, or specs are bloated with abilities. I mean, Warden is spamming the same buttons as well, but there's just more you have to spam. Mm. Where I first found Arwen. Heck yeah! Arwen, baby! Couldn't sit up that long if you paid me an ungodly amount of money. Yeah, me too, Sergeant. You're off to bed, it's midnight there. Yeah, have a good night, Flinter! You get your sleep! Don't stay up for, uh, 68 hours at any point in your life, uh, it's just a daily reminder goal. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna make this, uh, um, don't stay up for 68 hours, um, 
never in your life. <laughs> I'm pinning that. I can't even pin it. <laughs> I want to pin it and they won't let me. We're coughing the last two hours. Aww. Yeah, go get some sleep. Thanks, baby man. You're you were able to pin it. Jules had that issue too, where she can't pin her own messages, but mods could pin her messages for her. I'm having that issue now. Yeah, don't don't do that. But yeah, have a good night. A sweaty. That is such a wow term. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I I couldn't think of anything else. My vocabulary is very limited. All right. Wait, I have to travel? The time oh, yeah, he had to recount. Is at hand. Yeah. With the recovery of the last Silithar, Elrond has commanded that Yeah, the everyone's having that problem. Not sure why that's happening. Wow, that's so weird. Sauron ...be renewed and rekindled as Unreal, the flame of the West. Greetings. Enjoy your visit from friend. Thanks! I'm getting tired. I need I do need to wrap up stream soon. It's six gosh, it's almost six fifteen. We're forging Narsil. I love that Arwen's there for this. <laughs> You might have come to get me. I didn't think the sword would be ready until tomorrow. <laughs> Goose, I have a bone and ribeye, a chunk of voice grass and some blue cheese and butter dipping sauce. That sounds nice. <laughs> Bay man, I can't with you. <laughs> Look at her modding over here and then she texts our group chat. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was wondering that. I was like, wait. Are you, uh, are you gonna be heading out soon, baby man? <laughs> it's like, it's almost 615. <laughs> it's like they can't at certain people in the chat today. It was Sally. Really? That's so weird. Not that I can't mod from my phone, but I'd rather not not in dry yeah yeah i'd rather you not mod and focus on driving and not even have the stream up all right please and thank you <laughs> but yeah i was just like that's so funny i was like <laughs> i saw that text <sighs> all right aragorn do your thing Aww. Look at that man's go. From the ashes, a fire is woken. I thank you, my friend. So, Blade, that was broken, has been remade. <laughs> Our own's like, hey. Take more than swords to turn the tide. Uh, time for some cheer, perhaps, not to excess dark dangers press upon us, evil stirs. <laughs> Geo, you poking me, that's fine. Aragorn, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Pretty much. I want to know more about Elrond and Aragorn's relationship. Is it like Father Dad? Oh, my friend's on the way, guys. I think that's a sign that I should probably, um... Probably call it after this. Greetings. Do I know if there's a return of Meekle delving skill? Uh, I don't think so. Not on. Oh, I took a screenshot. Whoopsies. They are related. Yeah, I know they're like kind of related, but I want to know like how in depth we go. Wait, why is it? No, don't. Don't do this to me. 
Okay. Because <laughs> I was like, uh, why is it showing that I need to travel now? I was going to be so upset. But it already triggered off. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There is a racial return to MD for hobbits. Yes, but High is not a hobbit. Um, I don't think there's a rep one either. Hug your IRL friends for us. I will. Aragorn is the son-in-law. Others can buy the skill from the store. Wait, there's a skill in the store. Steve, how's it going? An ancestor of Aragorn's is Edmund's brother. No rep, store only. Oh, it's store only. Sorry, hi. Unless you're a hunter. <laughs> Elrond is in his uh, foster father for Aragorn. <laughs> Elrond is the foster father, I see. Uh, well... What I am gonna do, I am, um... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just look at the reflection pool next time for next stream, so then that way I know, like, no, actually, what if we do the re reflection? Real quick, real quick, we're gonna do the last refuge. That's what we'll do, real, 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 real quick. I promise, it'll, it'll be so quick. So quick, so quick. Oh gosh. Hunters rule, they do. 295 Lotro point for just a return skill to Mikkel Delving, that's it? Just that? You don't have any additional skills? That's a lot. And I'm assuming that's character bound too. Man, I do need to do some deeds soon. Oof. Big yikes, big yikes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Real quick. Uh, I hope... I'm going to hope for the sake of next time, Aubrey, that Frodo's burden is not in Rivendell. <laughs> and I'm not missing the instance in that. I, yeah. A fellowship to... Actually, let's do the fellowship to parts. That one should be quick. The household I remember of this one. Half Elven gather to bid farewell to nine brave adventurers entrusted with a secret task which could mean the salvation or doom of me. What a way to end stream! I, We're gonna see our Gandalf buddies! The <laughs> them along dark it's our buddies! It's the fellowship! Did this one not long ago? Yeah. Aragorn sitting on the rock. Don't be a stranger and be alone now. Don't be a stranger, Aragorn. We love you. You're our main mans. I love how I just have to watch the company depart. This part of the game actually hits me so diffy now because the next time that you see everybody is like wild how long it takes. It takes like Tons of level. <laughs> You're off. Take care. Yep. See you soon. <sighs> That's so wild that everybody's coming. Gandalf. Uh, let me look at who we can go raid here shortly. Because my friends are on the way. I have a piece of hair. Oh, dude, questing dad is on still. I was wondering. I was like, I wonder if he'll be um playing Lotro today because yeah, dude was um. I thought I saw my hat move. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, dude is a uh, dude is going late. I saw a stream was twelve and a half hours. I was like, oh my golly. Oh, we should go raid Valathorn. It's Lotro community raid night for her. Let's heck and go.
Aw, Cole, thank you so much for contributing to the community challenges. Oh, thank you. Um. Yep, the rating. Go, Bill. Sixty-eight hours. <laughs> yeah, someone. Uh, so somebody in the chat. I won't say who, but someone in the chat said that the longest that they've ever stayed up was sixty-eight hours. And I was like, are you for real, for real? So I just wanted to put a friendly reminder that that is not healthy and to make sure everybody gets their sleep, okay? It's a good reminder. A friendly good reminder, I promise. Sounds dangerous. It does sound very dangerous. All right, I'm gonna go back to the reflection pool, but we are going to just stand in front of it and wrap up the stream for today. Um, because my friends are on their way to my apartment and I think my granny tried to make dinner, so I'm gonna have to, like, inhale some food real quick. Um, alright. Let's just get- let's get a nice look of the last homely house. Alright guys, so, we are gonna have to wrap it up. We are gonna go raid, uh, Adia Velathorn. I could just say Vala. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go raid her. Aw, Joran just went live, I feel bad. I feel bad I'm missing out on Joran. Dang it. But yeah, um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go raid, um, raid out to Vala. Let's do a raid night. Um, make sure you copy and paste the raid messages. And, um, make sure you stick around and say hi. Um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, thanks hi for being here. Naru, hey, how you been? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. You came in right as we were departing, unfortunately, but I hope you can come in for the next stream, which is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That'll be uh, Lotro Ladies Night tomorrow. So I have to make the thumbnail for that. So I'm really glad I remembered because I'm in charge of making that thumbnail. So, <laughs> um, oh wow, is Vala ending? I was lurking here in there. I just saw that she went full screen and I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Tinky's totally not. Okay, no, she's doing other stuff. Okay, cool. It's fine. Phew. All right. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go raid her. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. I was lurking here and there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh go Bill, yeah. Bye. Silent, it was so nice to see you. Hello, hello. Um, go Bill is good for about 15 hours. <laughs> Sorry, Jane said granny don't. I miss that. Mine have been gone for 20. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, my granny is freaking awesome for that. So, um, but yeah, so I'll go see you guys um tomorrow. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. EDT. Uh, maybe, yeah, 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. Um, yeah, so see you guys tomorrow for Lotro Ladies. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to have a YouTube video out for you guys at some point but yeah just keep an eye out uh probably not this weekend so probably like you know sometime this week so get some more content going so yeah thank you guys thank you thank you have a good night enjoy see you bye bye let's go say hi to vala stay weird readers bye bye see you guys enjoy